Welcome back to Workers and Resources. Last time, we built our houses in Hellas and we also set up our university. Currently researching towards the automat automation of our forest industry, which will require two researchers, one of which does not unlock anything. So it does not count towards our low-tech limitation. What else are we going to do today? Um, well... I was planning on building the heating setup here. We are working on that. Providing heating to Kurasna itself. So that we can take down the um, heating plant in Kurasna itself and make sure the area has less pollution. Uh, did I take away the truck bringing boards here? Boards. No, it's just very slow and we're using a lot of material it looks like. Should be getting here in time. I guess we were using a lot of boards for some construction. That is fine. It's a little bit of a transportation route. All of these pipes, etc. will take a lot of materials, one of them being boards. The other thing I was thinking about is my heating setup. Um, I will have to rework this at some point, I think. Because I think in the future we will probably have to use two heating plants for our town. And then when I have two heating plants I would like to cross-connect them, so each heating plant has one connection to each. Um, pumping station so they if one of them has a fire or something then both connections one of them will shut down whereas the other one can help prolong the the functionality of our heating system a little bit but if the heat pumping station catches fire then we're, we're still gonna have a little bit of an outage although the fire station is very close nearby we're also building more houses here uh, we're also running out of rubles, it looks like, so I will have to hmm, probably take out a substantial loan. The longer we can wait in rubles, the easier it will be to pay back with dollars at some point. So we'll keep our US dollars close and we'll deal with the ruble issue later. We did have an event again that the dollar, uh, that the fuel price was dropping, uh, the oil price, so we are not earning any amount of money with this at all. 16 tons of oil, 620 rubles. This is barely anything. Research is done, forestry study. Now we have to set up, set up the second one, which does now automate the replanting process. Woodcutting planting policy. Only 400 work days. Shouldn't take too long. The other research before that took a little bit longer, I think. And that means we have started our third research. So we only have one more research left that we can do. And that one will be prefab panel buildings. That one will help us finally construct some high density structures. We are probably still going to use these to finish up this area. And maybe in the future if we like the look of it. For some low density housing this makes a lot of sense. I am wondering if I should, instead of getting prefab panel buildings, get the resource overlay. But if we get 2000 more citizens, then we will get that next, I think. And then the Soviet Star Monument, maybe soon after. There are a few things that I would like to research. Um, the Maybe if we get the resource overlay first, we could decide on another settlement. Maybe there's coal or iron nearby here anyway. I mean we have iron. Coal is the one we're looking for. 
Last time I checked there wasn't anything substantial around in this area. So, not really. I think this one was coal. Yeah, there's a little bit of coal here. I really need the overlay. I need to find a good vein. This is not working out for us right now. Anyway. Heat pumping station is set up. Going over here. And the other one has one inside town and the other one going towards Karazna. Still being dug out. Mm. All of the boards have however now been delivered. We do need some gravel to make construction cheaper. And I guess construction materials now that they also take care of maintenance will be nice to have to keep our um, buildings up and running without having to pay for it. You're still paying for it since you can't use the materials for export but you basically don't have to import, which is the main reason to have these, I guess. Police station should also be getting built. Resources are being delivered here. And we need to finish the groundworks and then... Once we have the police station, things should be looking better. Right now crime is starting to pile up very, very slowly. But if it takes hold gonna have a much harder time rooting it out of this area. So better taking care of it right now. Our bendy bus heading up and down this road occasionally picks up workers and brings them to our mining area. I'm not trying to find it right now but I can't. Maybe it's getting repairs? That would be weird. It's not that old. Loyalty seems slow. Yes, I know. We are building the monument. Alright, where is the Bendy bus? It has one worker driving to the mine right now. Okay. And Colata still has its happiness issues. Okay, monument shouldn't take too long. I mean, it is 200 workdays without any assisting machinery. But it is only 200 days. So we'll need 200 workers, basically. <clears throat> Fountain is not working during winter, which makes sense. I think we'll probably build all of these houses today. I don't know if I'm gonna get the migrants via money or just let it try and go up naturally. But we do have a lot of extra capacity for workers. We would need to increase the amount of buses running towards our mine. But it would be nice having more money. Hello, Tailman. Thank you. Hella's looking really great already. Yes. It seems to be developing quite nicely, especially with the back area behind the buildings being a little bit more open. Looks pretty neat. More houses will probably have to arrive here, but that is for the future. Looks like they are prioritizing research before students, which I guess is fine. Um, we need better buses, I think. I guess we need more workers in general. We do have a decent number of highly educated workers, but we are not sending them to the bus stop, so let's change that. <clears throat> One more building full of workers to the bus stop, which should give us enough um, professors to run our education system. And they can still walk, uh, walk to work locally if no one picks them up. The downside of this, however, will be that the bus bringing workers to mines to the mine will pick them up if it gets here and they're still waiting. And also the heating plant bus. But better to be safe than sorry. Locally we seem to have enough workers. 
Looks plain, but not too symmetrical, and also uses this rain, very Soviet. Ooh, that's a compliment. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Not too symmetrical, but planned. And yeah, I didn't try to make everything completely flat. I mean, the ground for the town itself is flat, but also incorporates some elevation change. Thank you. That is greatly appreciated. There's our bendy bus, loading as many as possible and then unloading 10% and waiting until actually unloading 5%, leaving at least some workers here for the heating plant. That way the bus will stand around until it has enough workers to load. Right now we don't need an extra bus when the amount of workers here is still that low in general. What's going on here? Loyalty seems okay, except for this one building, but there's only 12 people living here. So presumably it emptied out people relocating into a different area. And then it got filled by former prisoners. And speaking of which, I probably also have to plan a a new prison soon. Once the heating pipe has been constructed, I mean like completely with all buildings, and then construction costs should be going down. These buildings don't need that much steel compared to the pipes. And yeah, I would tear down the other, the other heating plant. Not right now, I would just shut it off. Lower the pollution, see if everything works fine, maybe for a year or two, and then tear it down. Having a backup heating plant is not the worst idea, just in case something goes horribly wrong. One more delivery of each type of resource, unless we use the very small trucks, and then... The groundworks for the police station will be done and 40 tons of steel which is going to be about 4,000 4, no, 40,000 uh, US dollars just for that steel let me take a look if we can see ship prices here I don't think so but no, just locomotives for ship prices, we would need to buy a or build a a dock. I was considering maybe building a dock at a river, which we are not connected to. Uh, one that would accept like all ships, but if we get over to this side, we could have a dock here and make this a harbor area for scrapping old busted ships for material. Maybe that would be something nice to do. Loyalty low, um, twenty-five percent only. I mean, these are only the 2.4% monuments. But they don't have any complaints. I guess we will have to prioritize the Soviet Star Monument. I will have to get the resource overlay after that one. So, we're gonna go concrete prefab uh, buildings. Actually, we could go monuments first, right? Yeah, let's go monuments first. Let's take care of the loyalty issues first. And then prefab panel buildings as the next one. We can research these at the same time anyway, because once we have this research, both of them can be done in different universities. All right. Finish the wood cutting, wood cutting planting policy research as fast as possible. So this will be the last time I'm going to replant trees today. The area should be self-sufficient. At least in regards to automation. We won't need to touch it anymore. Still will need maintenance. But no interaction by me anymore. 
after the research has been completed. Yeah, that should go quick. Kolata is throwing a bunch of complaints. It will also get a Soviet Star Monument. The Soviet Star Monument will become a staple of our Republic. Because before we get a TV or radio station will be a lot of time that has passed. Maybe a few small sports fields behind the school. They are cheap. Ships seem a bit too much for the small Republic. Rather invest planning more railways since you have all the equipment for that already. Yeah, I was only thinking about getting a dog yard and seeing if there's a really, really cheap ship that we could get with and throw into a dog yard and scrap at it. So basically spend the spend like five or ten workers and give them a ship that they can scrap down for spare metal and then we can use the scrap metal to make our own steel. Operating sh ships is a little bit too expensive especially. I guess the fuel price is really low but once our money issues are gone which is undetermined when that will happen um, we could export via a container ship just to consolidate all of our materials put containers on there, put maybe boards on there. I guess no, for boards we already have a train. Maybe we should put everything in containers and load that onto the train, alternating between... I guess no, we do. We can't alternate. The logging, the logging train does not accept containers. It's a dedicated train car for bricks, prefab panels or boards. But it does mean that if we produce bricks and prefab panels, we could use the same train to transport stuff away. Prefab panels would require gravel, so gravel industry would also be necessary. Gravel and cement. And then bricks would just be coal. I would need the resource overlay for that. So I guess prefab panels we can do once the research is done. Bricks will have to wait a little bit before we can burn them. All right, at least a few teachers, every bus. And yeah, we will have to give our students a continued education here. We're still lingering around 51% higher education. Ideally, we don't want to drop much lower. But for that, we will need a well-functioning education system. And make sure this one doesn't get overloaded with students from Hellas. So our university in Hellas itself will have to start growing with more workers, a more reliable bus system. It'll take a while. Happiness low. 20 people, 44% happiness. No kindergarten, no spirituality. 57% quality flats and still only 43% happiness now. It is a mystery. 4.5% loyalty. They are only at 22%. Maybe it's rising, maybe it was lower before. I don't know. Police is definitely keeping up with crime, so I don't know. You wanted a football playground behind the school. kindergarten or like beginner students and one for the school itself. Proper soccer matches.
I guess this footpath area will then not be necessary if we're not going to put housing here. I thought more housing around this. I guess uh, maybe they could also be back here behind the school and then we could put more housing here. But since we already have electricity, I guess we don't need any housing. Could also put one or two more houses here if necessary. But yeah, let's place some open door sports facilities in there. Did I miss something? Did we run out of money temporarily? Might have happened. Let's refresh our loan. Only a hundred K. Not that great. But we are doing a lot of construction right now, so it's to be expected to be down the hole a little bit. Thirty more percent and our research will be done. And then they can focus on studying. And then we will modify our logging area a bit to remove the trees that are outside of range to make it look a little bit more... Like everything is being handled by the woodcutting post basically at that point. Should be quite easy to see which trees will need to be removed. Okay, you only can get that house. That might mean that this house is also not reachable by this one. Guess we're gonna find out. We got our monument. At least covering a few of the facilities here. And yeah, we'll wait for the Red Star Monument. And each settlement will get one. And we'll be desperately needed. Steel deliveries for the police station have started. I guess I can already get two police cars. We went with these ones, but I guess they're a little bit old now. I don't always want to go with the cheapest option. Let's go with this one this time. Let's use a weird color scheme for a police car yellow and orange or red. Let's try those. Travel and construction yard would help you with most going forward, making own prefab, also good for rail construction and would you fit to build your uni prefab houses with own materials. Yeah. Any construction material is good. Prefab and bricks are really good. Boards is okay, but also good for export, and steel is best, I guess. The main purpose of all of this will be that we don't have to go to the customs house anymore, blocking traffic there, and it will also reduce the amount of money we have to spend. I guess concrete and asphalt might have to happen as soon as we set up the prefab panel construction. Of course we will have gravel on site already in some way, shape or form, either by train or produced somewhere in a storage at that site and then we can have all the industries surrounding it. I will not be making my own cement though. At least not at that same site. Might be somewhere further along the line. Uh, but not in the beginning. We need more workers. Well, first of all, we need the police station. Deal with crime issues, which hopefully will help happiness and loyalty a bit, if that has an effect on it. Why are you so... Okay, just one person moved in here, so we know their loyalty 4%. Probably a former prisoner. Otherwise, I can't explain that. 
looked out a good gravel spot. Well, we do have a lot of mountains, so gravel is all over the place. There's gravel here, gravel here, there's a whole range of gravel. We could make the old area next to Molna Customs our gravel area, using digging into the mountain over here. And then turning this into a gravel loading area. Maybe on this side. So I've not looked around because it's basically everywhere. It's basically all mountains. Or you could also dig it up from the from the lake uh, from the river. You have that option here, as far as I know. So there is gravel on the river as well. Which might be more easily accessible. We could set that up next to Beatus River. Dig up quarried stone and then carry it to a different either the processing facility or a different area. Some next to rail construction office. Now you're asking the right questions. Um, yes, there is some over here. I don't want to necessarily start the production over here because it will need to be in fire station range. And this is only a temporary rail construction office. This is not the permanent one that we want in the future with external storages for everything. So the gravel does not have to be here. It's not being used that much. We do have a lot of gravel here potentially. I could chop down the peak and draw a lot of gravel from there. Or we could load gravel from over here, have the processing facility next to the iron mine up on the mountain, and then use the same loading station, process it in this area, carry it up to the storage facility, but not store it in here, in its own storage facility, moving it into the same loading station. But I do think this area will be pretty busy with the iron already, so a second train in this area might not be feasible. Plus spreading out is going to be a little bit cooler, even if it's more expensive. Automatic tree replanting done. We'll let the university catch up for now with, res with its um, students, but I will still trigger a research of at least one professor. With the study on concrete that will allow us to research prefab panel and big monuments. So we are, I still have one research left right now. And I think it'll be the monuments, the prefab panel buildings. We will have to wait until this area up here grows to a large size. And gets, gets us over 5,000 citizens, at which point we will unlock another research point per our own rules. And the Soviet Star Monument should help with that, providing loyalty in a very big area with the highest loyalty boost in the game without mods. 15 workers without work. So that tells me we don't have enough buses. I will temporarily increase the amount of workers in the supermarket I guess. We will also increase the amount of workers in the school and the kindergarten. I want to prevent any unhappiness from uh, unemployment right now. We will also have the police station fairly soon, which will basically prevent people from being unemployed anyway. People can also walk to the construction site if they want and help build it up. It is easily reachable. The source for workers might become Hellas Old Town instead of Korazna now. We could tell our buses to pick up from that area. Although Korazna is basically designed to provide workers to sites, and Hellas is just just a large town. I don't really have any excess workers planned there. Yeah, this mess of a startup village town is always apparent, like, okay, we just built something really small and it'll be enough. Oh, we need workers. Oh, we need that. We need that. Okay, att attach, 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 attach. <clears throat> It's always funny. We also need more workers for the clothing factory. Basically need to get more income going. 3000 citizens in our republic, 2000 workers. Looking fairly good. 
research will be relatively slow. Okay, I will get proper buses for the university. It will be the IKR-256. They don't have too much capacity, they have decent road speed. The road speed doesn't matter because it's in... I guess I don't need the road speed. Let's see, uh, what is... Can I find cheaper buses? 18,000. We could just not care about the capacity, just put the highest capacity there and unload 10% back. Maybe I should also enable the setting that vehicles become unavailable at some point. Although I do like my options. Maybe more bendy buses. Or maybe a non-bendy bus for inner city transportation. We'll get three of these and add them to that route making our microbuses obsolete pretty much and also removing uh, the other bus from that. Yeah, whenever we do construction work, things are slowing down. I did purchase them for this, right? Yes. I guess they have to travel here from the Eastern Customs House, which will take a little bit. So all of these buses will become obsolete and be replaced with different types. And I think this is probably the point where they can move into the scrapyard. I don't see a reason to keep them around for now, except the Mars 305, uh, 309, this one can stay in a in a construction office or a depot and act as a replacement vehicle in the future. All right, we have to be careful about this because it's getting a little bit ridiculous. most concerned about the waste delivery over here, potentially slowing down the waste removal from our towns. But yeah, gravel and asphalt being picked up from the border is slowing things down. The more construction vehicles we have, the slower things will be. the road again and remove our old vehicles, sending them over to the scrapyard. How many do I have of these? Four. One in the demolition office. Also almost toast. I guess I could just send them all to the scrapyard. Automatic vehicle replacement is not used for that. But I can make sure that they don't get any replacement vehicles, which I guess isn't correct. The, the demolition office one should get a replacement vehicle, but we will use one of our US based vehicles instead. Once you have unloaded, you'll also go to the scrapyard. And the Mars 309 bus will I will send into a depot somewhere. Over here for now. On the side from the route. There you go. We got our road cranes, which is excellent. Uh, that means any future crane will probably be this one because they have such good uh, travel speed. 
they can drive by themselves without the need for for a truck. They will be very costly though. And apparently they don't show up here. For some reason. I thought we had them. Maybe it was a different vehicle. Maybe it was the T185 for a different purpose. Let's see. 185. Oh, road crane. Okay, not excavator yet. We only got the road crane variant. So the excavator is still... Yeah, you're right. The... Yes, yeah, road crane, not excavator. The excavator variant is still upcoming. Happiness going up. Loyalty 9% is pretty bad. Hopefully we can deal with it soon. The monument will help keep our people happy and hopefully boost population growth. And this area should be enough to get us to 5,000 citizens. At which point we can research better prefab panel buildings and get maybe another 2,500 people for another research. I do have plans for research. So first monument for loyalty to get to the extra research to get better buildings and the better buildings to get to the research to allow us to see where the resources are. So maybe in 1985 we can see where all the resources actually are in our Republic without having to scroll around to find them. And there we go. We can relocate our police cars over. Two police cars are probably going to be enough. And right now I will limit this to half capacity. It is complaining about power supply though, which I find curious. But I can guess why that is the case, because, well, we ran out of money. And that should hopefully deal with crime. Because crime has been starting to take a foothold here. And we better take care of that right now. Maybe the police station will also have the, the large, a large prison here. I guess we don't have the, the space for it. Could have it over here. Construction office area. That would give it everything. We'll see. The prison is undefined right now. Population growth isn't that high yet. It will take a while, but it shouldn't take too long. Let's put it that way. And if the amount of students goes down below five, now that we're bringing a lot of students here, we will have to see if everything runs well. If it ever goes down below five, or we feel like we can manage it, then we can crank up the research back to 100% to finish it up. The monument kind of has priority, not gonna lie. We're still at a 51% higher education. I think Kurasna will do well now. Still filling up the Hall of Residence though. But a lot of them are like 25 points away from finishing their education. Some of them already done. So yeah, should be fine hopefully. Just another epidemic. Uh, maybe we need an epidemic counter. I clicked the message away, that was not the epidemic. Oh well. The message system hopefully gets an update before release, but I don't know. I think the amount of teach uh, of professors, party officials, and staff over here should still be enough for the amount of students in the area. 15 years old, 1.7, uh, 1.12. 18 years, 1.5. That is getting pretty close to not being able to finish your education on time. Hmm. I believe it should work. 
The Soviet Star Monument will probably be built here. That should cover everything. And Karazna, we just have to find one. Heat exchanger plus pipe number one has been built. Heat exchanger up here has been built, not connected yet. And the last pipe over here needs to be dug out and another 72 tons of steel. Before then we can actually provide some heating to it. And then we can turn off the other heating plant. I mean, we could turn it off right now. Winter is over. But there could be another cold phase right now. We'll give it a little bit of time. We'll put the amount of police staff to 5 and police officers at 10. I think the large police station is way more efficient than the small one because for the same amount of... Well, way more. For the same amount of police officers, 10, you need 8 staff instead of 5 on the small police station. So this should, in theory, hopefully work a little bit better. Maybe we will have to add more police cars to it in the future. Yeah, that looks fairly good. That should give us a lot of students their much needed education. So want to speed up the research. I think we should speed up the research to get the monuments. Do we not have enough buses just heading down here? It's 170 seconds, three buses should be enough. We don't have enough workers in the area, I guess. Sometimes the bus bringing workers to the uh, mine, I guess, might interfere with the workers going to the university. And then the benefit of that is that we get a few extra workers in the mine. But it's still not that high. Yeah, we're working on happiness. Mostly loyalty related, probably. I mean, they do have 77% happiness with only 9% loyalty, so... This one's complaining. This building, I mean. Still around 3,000 people. Not growing right now. Happiness going up a little bit. Low government loyalty being the main issue right now. We will take care of that soon, hopefully. And crime being a close second, which we have also tried to tackle. Try to tackle. Let's see if it takes effect up on our town to improve happiness by reducing crime. I guess. Have to make sure that the prison is always enough. If we ever get here and we have 30 prisoners, we should probably consider building another one or reducing sentences. We feel like we can handle the criminality, which it looks like it would probably be possible. 10 year sentence, 1 year served, 0% criminality. There is no real benefit keeping them in longer. Except for the fact that you do get 60% productivity workers out of this building. No matter their loyalty. Supposedly an average productivity of 74, but if they have lower loyalty, it caps, it bottoms out at 60. They still have some loyalty. I don't know if the productivity lowers down when they are in a building. 70, no, it's over, seven, over 60, so they are more productive. I guess that's fine.
Research. Let's go through the research. I want my research. We have to focus on research. We still have a lot of higher education people here. We can do the research. Uh, we can do the education a little bit later. Loyalty is starting to pop up in a lot of areas, and I would like to deal with that. If at all possible. There's a cold snap, 13 degrees. Maybe mid-April, end April, we can turn off the heating plant. We could turn it off right now. Let's do it. Let's turn it off, see what happens. Wear and tear is 24%. Before it gets to 50, I would tear it down. So we have a little bit of time left to keep it around, see if everything works correctly. The other thing we will have to do is uh, connect the other heating pipe. So that will cost us a bit more. We'll do a very sh uh, short demolition job. Let's do that again. Let's pause the game. Let's do this much as one task. And that will allow us to hook up the other heating pipe while we do the rest of the demolition work. The emergency heating will only provide heating to the houses, not the... Um, the secret police, I guess. So we'll have one more construction task that we will have to finish before winter. Otherwise, well, we no, we def desperately need it because the the heat exchanger only can do 177, uh, 100 cubic meters, and we have 177 for all of the houses connected here. So either we finish the heating pipe or we have to run the heating plant again during winter. It's not that dangerous, I guess. I made it sound more dramatic than it was. But we are still building another heating pipe. And that one's going to be really expensive too. But it is, that should be the last expensive one for now. I mean, we have a lot of heat piping planned. I wonder how bad the steel price is right now, after that many expenses. 884 US dollars. So, it went up, but not too much yet. I wonder if I should export some bitumen. Like, buy it at the border and sell it somewhere else. From US dollars to rubles. Use that as a means to maybe rise, raise the oil price a little bit. It is really, really low. I wonder if that would help. So we basically export oil to the west. We import refined materials and bring them to the east. And then maybe the oil price goes up. I'm willing to try it. I'm going to get one truck on that permanently for now uh, this time blue please I'm gonna go into the depot first before I can set up the route Traffic jam. Uh, demolition work, yes. That makes sense. Don't need to call in here right now. Let the demolition office do its job. 
will be very, very fast anyway. And wait for the waste removal, hook up the heating pipe to our blueprint plan. And hopefully it can get constructed in half a year's time. Alright. Pick up bitumen, which is I think the costliest resource. And transport it to the east. Permanently right now. I hope this starts driving up the oil price. I mean, it will increase our income on rubles even more. Maybe this is not a good idea, but anything to raise up the oil price a little bit right now. Even though it will also raise the fuel price, I guess. Maybe I should import fuel. Maybe I should have a large fuel tank. Wouldn't that lower the oil price in the east even more? I don't know. We're sending finished goods to the east and oil. My idea is to drive up the oil price in the west, which will also raise it in the east. Because oil prices are very closely tied together for some reason. It, there's a very small difference in between compared to something like food, where it drives apart really easily. So it's not the best material. Uh, maybe the reverse would be better. Maybe taking bitumen from the east to the west instead. Oh no, bitumen has a really high difference between price comparatively. Oil is very close together. Bitumen is a bit more separate. Fuel is also drifting apart a little bit. I want to see if I have an impact on the oil price basically. I want to do something with the oil price and the only thing I can think of is either exporting from the east to the west or the west to the east so we're trying west to the east for now because I still need some rubles we have not as much income on the eastern side so it makes more sense on that end yes fast research please I could send more workers and no students but the route is what it is Hopefully it doesn't affect the heating plant too much. Eduardo, staying strong. Our tree. Looking very healthy. Nothing will ever happen to it. Unless I accidentally bulldoze it when I put down some terrain work around it. And then we will miss him. Eduardo. Stay strong. Uh, that is just guesswork. You're probably going to be fine. That's the heating pipe, meaning that we now have heating up the hill. Meaning we now should have heating here. And that covers everything. That even covers the, uh, the secret police, but the capacity itself is not enough for one heat, heat exchanger. We do need the second one. And the demolition work is done. So all we need to do is hook this together. It's maybe a little bit long. Yes, let's shorten that pipe a little bit. Let's turn up here. Underneath the underneath the rail tracks. Let's go down here. I guess that one's fine. Ah, uh, it doesn't like it because it's right underneath the road. Great. That way then. Shouldn't take too long. Only 20 tons of steel. 2600 days, lots of digging work. It's the main part. Uh, I will change that. First of all, I will probably turn it into two construction tasks. 
But I believe I can probably reduce the amount of digging that is necessary by... I guess I... Hmm. It doesn't work because I'm using a parallel pipe here. But we should be able to increase the pace by turning it into two different construction tasks, which is what I just did. So 1,600 days and 1,500 days. Double the speed, mostly for digging. That's gonna be fine. Wasn't it 2,600 in total? Why is it now 1,600? Maybe I was just looking at the top one and that one was the 1,900. I don't know. Should be fine. Also, there's another small construction task up here, I guess. It'll be fine. They can split out the work a little bit. Research is done. Monuments will have to be researched by a different university, so this one can focus on education right now. We will go ahead. Six hundred work days full on monument research. So this is our research number three being spent. We have one research left. And we, I guess we could also research the prefab panel buildings right now. I will let them teach their students right now. We have a little bit of time spare before we need to plan more housing. There's a lot of housing already prepared. Don't need to be too hasty. Lots of loyalty warnings, which I hope will be resolved. But we'll see. Only 62% happiness. Only complaint is no sport. I don't know. At least population is staying relatively stable. Um, the heating pipes should hopefully be constructed in time. Yeah, resource deliveries are uh, fight fairly quick. Mm, this one will have to be dug out by hand. Also not a problem. And this one looks horrible. You already start sending resources here? You have. I'm sorry, but I will have to change that. That is not going to be acceptable. redo this. Yeah. That looks better. We're going to separate this. Uh, that's maybe too much. Separate this, start this as its own construction task, and then hook this one up as its own construction task. So now we have three maybe evenly sized construction tasks, which should speed things up a little bit. Okay, this is a very quick construction task. Uh, this is its own construction task now, and this one. Alright. I don't know what the oil price is like based on. If it's mostly the west or the east. If I take resources from the... Uh, from the west, does it raise the oil price more than exporting to the east or is it vice versa? Or doesn't it care shifting around resources? I'll have to wait and see what kind of impact it has. We can always turn around the export route, but shifting around resources that way will still lose us money. Just 
time goes on. Because every time you buy and sell, you, you get less money for rebuying the same resource, I guess. I'll stop you here for now. After that route. What is the unloading command? It looked like you were unloading... Strangely. I was unloading all the students first before the professors and then the staff. But I guess it works fine that way. Make sure... We have all the workers correctly where they should be. Let's send more. Let's open this up to more people. Which will mean that when some of their shifts end, there will still be workers in here dealing with the students. And later on, we have enough workers to actually start the research of the prefab panel construction. All people are still studying. But for now, make sure that people get an education as efficiently as possible. And we can also send some workers over here. I don't really care about loyalty right now. I should. Let's restrict the worst, but the most disloyal citizens from teaching in this area. They can work in the mines. We always have work for people. Yeah, I think the construction will finish in time. Shouldn't take too long. It's good to see that the heating is already moving over here. Even though we have a lot of loss from 90 degrees Celsius inside the heating plant. Even more than that, it looks like. I know it's 90. 269, we're losing 20 degrees Celsius from transporting the heating water. And not providing it locally. But yeah, pollution should be very good now. This house, which was like l looking at like 70 years of average lifespan, is now at 78. Pollution is slowly starting to get back. And hopefully that will be beneficial for our people in this area. I think pollution was one of the only concerns in this area that we need to deal with. There are still a few complaints about um, spirituality. But I think we will also have a bus route between Korazna and Hellas in the future so they can share. Um, probably not the workers, just passengers and maybe students we could turn Hellas into a transfer point there are some students waiting here because they can't walk directly to the current party HQ almost done with the research two-thirds of the way and then we have to place three red star monuments to help with loyalty issues. One in each settlement. I don't like the interest rate in US dollars. I would like to remove the whole loan. It is the most stable currency, but the interest rate is too high. We should take all of our loans in rubles and make make use of the, uh, of that money. Yeah, 570 US dollars, 600 rubles. Maybe I need to... Uh, maybe I need to pick up from the border. Maybe I need to drive all the way to the west. 
probably need to build that rail line to pick up the oil instead. Okay, this should this should ease my concerns about higher education in the area by a lot. There shouldn't be that much traffic at the customs house anymore. That is acceptable, I guess. It's still fairly high. Alcohol, mechanical components for construction. Fuel for the train diesel station, which is set to always run and not wait at the train diesel station because we also load fuel there. So this one's always driving around. Seems like it was empty though. Maybe our fuel consumption on the train diesel station is slowly getting up to the point where, we'll, where we will need another vehicle. Mm. So we might have to run two trucks with line spacing to, to keep this one fueled. Uh, we could also have a truck unloading station here and then transport the fuel over there with that help. Basically giving us a parking spot. No more replanting, yes. So we could have a unloading station here and then refuel this, meaning that the truck does not need to run around all the time and just on demand. And this would be two loading places slash unloading places. And then refueling could still be done here for vehicles that need fuel. So we could have two reserved slots for delivery vehicles. And the other option would be a train bringing fuel here. So we would need to hook up another line and then just park the other train here, always bringing fuel to the area, which might be the best option. We could buy another fluid wagon for our waste train and whenever the train does an export of waste, it goes over here, refuels this and comes back. I am not unhappy with that idea. Soviet Star Monument done. Let's get going with setting those up. First our problem child, which is Colata. Needs one. I want it to match the rotation of the police station, but be built here, I think. So when people drive down the hill, it's facing them a little bit. Number one. Will take a while to build that up. Kurasna itself also had a place. Just have to find it again, I guess. I thought here, but that's too narrow. Here will work. I will cover all of the residential buildings and then some. be good train lines can unload at diesel stations unlike distribution offices. I think distribution offices can too, but I don't remember. I had my refueling set up as a distribution office whenever I had trains, I think. So the idea was to have it here, which is probably enough to cover everything. Yeah, that should be able to cover everything. It's 400 meters. So everything in this would be covered. And then 400 meters down, so everything here would be covered. Only buildings on this end would not be. I believe this to be an acceptable place. Next to our other monument, I guess. 
other option is next to the bridge, which is probably a cooler option. Uh, we will have to build it over here to allow for a footpath to go past this. Uh, my idea is for a footpath to be here and here, so I guess it would have to be at this point. Which would be hard to see when you come down the road. It should still cover every building. Except the, well, the warehouse, which doesn't matter. We will have another Soviet star at the entrance. When you leave, you will see one. So I think this will be okay for now. We'll have one over here. Maybe even this one. At the bottom of the bridge. Yeah, sure, this one. This one instead. They will not be that cheap, 20 tons each of steel, but I think they will be worth it. Very much so. I think these are like one of the quintessential buildings if you are doing this low-tech kind of stuff. Which is very difficult in regards to loyalty, so any help is appreciated. Can have footpaths connecting to the bridge. Okay. Ideally, I would like to have a footpath here. Oh, it doesn't even let me place this. Uh, what if I used my? What if I use this instead? And then I wait for a vehicle to drive along this before I remove it, so the snapping point stays. Oh, how do you like that? There we go. We'll get a gravel footpath to the monument itself. And build that one up for now. And hopefully most buildings, if not all, will be in range. But there will be one for people leaving this area to be reminded of the greatness. That was achieved when our tunnel finished construction, giving us access to a lot more room. Basically, whenever you drive down the road, you're going to see the Soviet Star Monument. We'll turn that into gravel. A gravel footpath in the future. There might be housing on this hill. I don't know yet. I am particular to the idea of m turning this slope into a residential area. But I will have to worry about food being brought up there. I don't want to overwork our shopping center in the area. It's not really meant for a high volume. Alright, lots of low happiness and loyalty. Let's see if we can get that under control with, I guess now, four monuments. This also probably reaches the university for now. Yes, definitely. And that way we don't have two monuments right next to each other. We have another one down here, more central to our road network. concrete otherwise 
construction should be fairly quick. And then we should get a pretty good benefit from it. It's a little bit slanted, but that's fine. It's matching the building behind it, not the footpath. And Colata behind Beatus Mountain. It's also being built, but not as quickly. We don't have that many construction workers here. I guess I can just let people walk onto the construction site directly. Concrete delivery should not be the main issue right now. And then hopefully this area will improve happiness and loyalty going up to, well, loyalty at least to 35, I would hope. Happiness at least 60 would be nice. We'll ignore any message um, until the Soviet stars have taken hold. And then we'll analyze any remaining um, issues that might still occur. I guess down here we could leave this as asphalt as well. Doesn't have to be gravel. Population still 3045. Went up a little bit, but not noticeably so. Twenty-three children and fourteen staff is okay. What about our heating pipe? It's June. I mean, it hasn't been building for a long time. Uh, but it's already done. We got our heating pipe set up already. Cool. So now, only the Soviet stars remain as construction. That needs to be done. They will take 60, 80 tons of steel from us because of the four monuments taking 20 approximately 20 each so money could still go down to the level where we might have to refresh or retake another loan but then we should hopefully be safe for the next bit of time uh, we were making 20,000 US dollars before per month when we weren't constructing so let's hope that is still the case and hopefully we can increase the amount of workers slowly heading over to the iron mine area we will need more bendy buses as soon as unemployment starts kicking in. Or we reduce the amount of workers again and force people to head to the iron mine. I think I will prefer assigning buildings specifically to go to the bus stop instead. As long as we don't have any issues in the area, we could think about assigning more and more buildings as time goes on. And that leaves us with one research that needs to be done. Um, prefab panels. Could probably knock that out fairly quickly too. How long is it? 1200 workdays is quite a lengthy research. Let me check my prison again. 32 prisoners, we're getting to the limit of what I seem feasible for this. Might be for a variety of reasons, might be all the new prisoners coming from this area. I don't want to build another prison right now. It's too expensive. And I don't want to build another small one either. Like I was thinking of building a large one. Let's give it until 35 prisoners before we react. Maybe it'll stabilize again. The police station in Hellas is active since recently and it will have to remove some of the elements from the area. Uh, let's not assign everyone to the bus stop I guess, otherwise we're not gonna have any police officers or <coughs> might run into issues with doctors. If they can't find work locally, they can go to the bus stop, but let's not overdo it, sending too many people to the bus stop. Mm. 
That's better. So yeah, now, basically, goal, growing our population, sending more people into the iron mine, stabilizing our loyalty, maybe buying a second train for iron ore exports if we run into that issue, which is not an issue, which is a boon. We would have to start buying white, yellow, and then the other train cars. I'm going to try and keep the color going for our iron trains. Alternating all the train cars and their colors. Looks like the price went down. Already 400 tons loaded and only 10,600 US dollars right now. So the iron ore price dropped. And I think the fuel price is also... The oil price is also not different. It's also... Still as low as ever. I mean, it takes a while to change, if there's a change, but... We're not earning much money right now at all. I will probably have to increase the volume. One more delivery of concrete. Then we have all the materials necessary. Finish the construction of that Soviet star. Which probably also has most of the area covered. But I will build two of them. And we're out of money. Could get another 50,000, I guess, for refreshing the loan. I really am warming up to the idea to take rubles instead of US dollars for that. Even our ruble is not looking that great right now. We did do a lot of construction. Hope we'll have to recover a little bit. We are out of money in many areas. Our resource industries chosen are not the most profitable ones. And the ones that are usually profitable, like oil, aren't. Market playing against us. But I think we can probably get a lot of money out of iron. Raw resources should still be profitable. Housing expansion will be done as soon as the amount of flats do uh, gets less than 100 here. Processing my iron would help. Uh, that would be... M well, the iron processing plant would cost us 200,000 just for this deal. And I'm not willing to spend that right now. And then you would also need to maintain it. And the benefit of that is not as large. If the, if the raw material price is low already. This thing costs 200 tons of steel, 4.2 tons of mechanical components. I do not want to... Sp like, you have to replace machineries every 8.5 years. Um, I think that's too much for us right now. What's the end goal for this challenge? I want to get to at least 50,000 people with no distribution offices. And if it was too easy, and I get there fairly... Like, if I am still enjoying the game, then I will up the limit to 100,000. I have never gotten to 50,000 before yet. So, we'll see if it happens. I always stopped before I got there because it felt like there was no more challenge. But no distribution offices should make it more and more difficult the more people you basically have. Come on, you can get enough people. There you go. Maybe we should not do that. Maybe we should just tell it to try and load and then go back to a bus end station instead. It doesn't have a bus end station though. So, the goal is only population count. I have nothing... Nothing dramatic, nothing... Planned. We could go for resource autonomy too. It depends, I guess. Autonomy is always a nice goal. I've achieved it once briefly, but that was because I had enough resources in storage. I actually wasn't producing enough materials myself.
first Soviet star in Krasna coming up. Second one probably in Hellas. Third one here. And then the fourth one will be a second one in Hellas itself. Once we get a footpath to it. And hopefully those will help. I wonder if I'm imagining things, but I felt like the amount of messages for loyalty already went down. Probably paying too much attention to it and there aren't any that there aren't even that many messages, it's just I was doing other things while they were piling up before. So I would say that is pretty good coverage. Even the mine is covered. That's ridiculous. We're not covering the clothing factory though, but that's okay. I guess. Let's see if our loyalty improves over here. This was fairly loyal before. We relocated some of our citizens into a different area and then replenished our, um, our workforce with new citizens from third world countries. So their loyalty to the system is not, does not start out very high. Looks like the amount of students is acceptable too. Starvation for three people. Well, I'll never. Is something wrong in Kolata? There is a little bit wrong. There should be more sellers here. Maybe another grocer. There should also be more workers here, I guess. I guess a lot of them are currently building the Soviet Star Monument, walking directly onto the construction site, maybe. Should even itself out. Um, we shouldn't have any problems right now. Population growth could still happen a little bit, but I think it'll be fine. I also want to test if a train can pick up these scrapped resources from a scrapyard or if you need to have external storage just like on a rail construction office because you can't deliver resources into a rail construction office with the entrances. That's a lot of visitors. Let's put that up to 10. It's not winter and everyone wants to do indoor, indoor sports. Uh, where's my football playground? Didn't I have one except this one? I thought I also had a large one. I guess I'm misremembering. Very good coverage. 65 workdays for the Red Star Monument. The first one in Hellas. I believe this one to cover all residential buildings, at the very least, and probably a bit more. Yeah, it should cover. It should cover everything on this hill. 400 meters that way. 400 meters that way. Should cover everything. It has a range of four. It has a reach of 400, but. Workers and Resources does not use circles for that. It uses squares. And the squares are not aligned with the building, but with the grid of the map. So from this, horizontally and vertically, 400 meters. Should be the exact range of the coverage, so I expect everything on this hill to be covered. By the monument. And we're gonna find out soon. Because the construction is almost done. And I guess this will overlap with the loyalty boost to the mine too, I would imagine. It shouldn't be... Oh no, it's even longer. Never mind. 
Oh wait, 400 meters that way. This will not reach the mine. That's fine. We are out of rubles. I'm gonna be a little bit more liberal with our ruble currency and be more cautious about our dollars. And coverage, 400 meters that way, 400 meters that way, should have everything. And it does. It even provides loyalty to the other monument, apparently. There's our road crane, the T185-1815, 1815 road crane. Drives 80 kilometers an hour, doesn't need an open haul truck to carry it to a construction site. Doesn't work as fast as the other excavators, but it's basically autonomous. I guess this monument isn't strictly necessary right now, but we're still gonna get it. Well, 11% loyalty. Let's see if things will start going up. Let's take another look at our prison. Went down again. We had one escape, but that's okay. That happens. Okay, don't need another prison right now. We definitely will need one as the population starts growing for this town. But by then I hope we will have secured our income again. Because right now it's looking pretty bad. Maintenance for building is probably kicking in. Requiring the occasional steel import to f refresh the material that we have stored in our construction storages. Starting with the loan is... I thought we had enough income, but... Well, now we're paying 16,000 on each currency per month just for, uh, well, the benefit of not running bankrupt, I guess. Looks like you didn't finish before the other ones, so... I guess the amount of workers is a little bit lower than the other areas. But regardless, 15 work days and we will also have the Red Star Monument in Colata. Instead of prefab panel buildings, I could go for the resource overlay. Think you need more workers? Yes, I definitely do. Hello, Central. I am currently considering skipping prefab panel buildings for the resource overlay. I could put that as a research in here. Prefab panels would be 1,200 workdays of research. But we already have the prerequisite. We still need 3,300 work days of research. I guess I no. We will do the resource overlay research when we have more workers here. I think right now we can just commit to the prefab panel construction. Research that while we still provide an education. Actually no, that's full tilt? No. Let's keep an even spread of professors for our students. Why are you waiting? We're out of power again. Why are we using that much money right now? What is going on? This isn't great. Something... Something is taking our money. Lots of steel, food... Food is not noticeable yet, but over the year it is. Fuel is still a concern. I guess having a very low oil price still helps. Fuel, steel, electronics. Then food and meat. What's the price of coal? Eh, it's fine. Less than 100. We will have to find a coal source soon, but yeah, for right now, we just need to grow our population. And it is starting to go up, finally. 
I think it's slowly picking up pace. Loyalty already up to 14 here. A few complaints in the area for some reason. Supposedly not able to getting food, meat, cultural sport. Probably is someone who relocated in here who had that problem. I don't think there's any reason otherwise. workers to the mine. Could be more, could be way more. Still got room for 35, 53, for 200 people in the area. So we need to wait a little bit before we decide to build our new next residential structure. And hopefully give our economy some time to recover its money, but it's not looking great. We're not making that much income anymore. We're importing more than we're than we're exporting right now. My market is busted, I feel. Let's check iron. We had a nice price spike, but it's evening out again. It did go up in general, but yeah, it's not that great. Oil is just terrible. Gravel is, gravel is not looking too bad. The game really wants me to set up some food production, I guess. At least for the west, uh, for the eastern side. Fabric, fabric would also be something that we could do. Importing chemicals and crops instead having our own fabric production. I still feel like we should probably just focus on the iron mine. Even though it is the one that is currently not giving us much money. Alternatively, we could send workers over here to the clothing factory as well. Or take everyone from Korasna and just send them to the clothing factory and then sending a few buses to Hellas to help with bringing workers to the mine. I mean, right now the iron mine price is very low, but clothing is still, I assume, really good. If the fabric price is very high, then clothing is also high. That seems to be more in line with the inflation. I don't know. More workers, I guess. Just wait for the population to start growing and our loyalty to start going up again. I wonder if the two Soviet star monuments will have an overlapping effect or not. Okay, that research is not slow at all. And we're still providing university education. I think I'll... Yeah, I can reduce the amount of workers here at that point when it's done. And sending more workers to the mine. I'll reduce the amount of workers here again down to 18, giving us a little bit of a safety buffer in case we need it. Fewer workers in the school, please. Kindergarten is fine. These buildings don't take many workers at all, and you will res stay restricted a little bit. If we start having unemployment in the area, then I will have to get a bus or two for the iron mine again. But on this side instead of Koras now. Complaints about loyalty. 26%. Right next to the monument. Hopefully it'll sort itself out. The reduced pollution should also help Karasna come back to its original population count level. And indeed these houses have almost filled up completely. Just the smaller houses requiring a few more citizens. And we're almost at 100 free flats. Not counting the Hall of Residence. And all of those workers should go into either the clothing factory or the mine automatically. Since there's no more construction task here. The amount of clothing production should start going up and we might actually see enough profit per month now. 
that the issue is going away. Whenever you do construction, all of the workers, if you're using your own workers, will also go to the construction sites. And therefore you will have a little bit less production, it's not just the resource cost. Get some sports facilities here. This one requires a waste storage. Which I guess we can provide. shouldn't be that much waste, should there? I mean, it's probably going to be a problem if we don't build one. I will build one if we have more housing. I will probably have one more house here and one more house here. And then leave the rest as just a green space in the middle. With some trees and footpaths. Loyalty. 14% but this monument has just finished construction so everything is covered we'll have to wait for it to take effect and hopefully improve the loyalty for all citizens I don't know why it's 14% though that feels ridiculously low Fifteen percent already I think we'll be in better shape now, but we'll have to wait and see. It's a shame that these monuments are so strong and they basically make all the other monuments obsolete, it feels like. At least that's my experience. It would be nice if they would group the monuments into different um, categories. So you have one for um, a political monument or symbol category and then you have maybe a sports plague which this one isn't necessarily by but um, you have like sports monuments you have um, hero monuments which are people and you have different varieties and they all satisfy um, the loyalty need similar to the attraction need with different categories but for your citizens so your citizens might react differently to different monuments. And that would give you the incentive to build different varieties of monuments rather than just relying on one. Our university is covered, so every building in Hellas right now, minus the heating plant, has a monument in range. I think the idea of splitting up who gets loaded here at maximum 50% students and then 50% for the workers. It's probably the right choice. At some point we might run into capacity issues, but it will still mean that we don't load too many students and then there's not enough workers over here. But by that point when we run into capacity issues, we probably have our workers living in the area and then we only have to pick up students at that point. And can leave all the workers for the mines. Or local, local workplaces. Can't forget about those. But it's green. We are making some income, so at least that looks nice. Ruble side is still terrible. We're losing money there plus the loan. It's horrible. Well, building extra buildings here, making more efficient use of our facilities that we already have in place and sending those workers to the mine is probably our best bet. That is our prefab panel construction. I need to take the spare research 
uh, of my list. So we currently had four researchers total, three from the three settlements and one from reaching 2,500 people. And this is the fourth research. So we've used up all of our research that we unlocked so far. In only, in only 22 years of in-game time, we are now getting prefab panel buildings. Doesn't mean we have to build them everywhere. Maybe once we make our own bricks, we can still use these because they take 60 tons of bricks. But I think we'll have prefab panels before bricks, probably. I'm not 100% sure. Prefab panels will be easier to set up. We will need to know where the coal is. We need 1,900 more people for us to be able to do that research. Let's finish the research, come on. I don't actually need it. I just want to lower the amount of workers in the university so we have more people going to the mine and then get another bus or two running up to the mine. I will get the bendy bus option right now. I think it was the 60 kilometers an hour IKR variant that we had. I think this one. Not this one. I'm fairly certain. Hellas Old Town Warehouse is on fire for our citizen goods. But the fire truck is already here putting out the fire successfully. Hello Molly Bidani, welcome. So I think on the US side with the currency we are probably going to be okay-ish. Maybe the maybe when we have a price spike for iron ore again it'll be better. Maybe the price for boards will start going up. We used a lot of boards basically for building all of the pipes. But that doesn't really factor in into the export price of boards because they don't know about it. We just had fewer exports running, I guess. And the board price went down instead of up. Which I guess is fine. Maybe you do actually need a baseline of exports for raising the price. I don't know. Guess we'll find out with the iron. Maybe I, didn't, maybe I need more oil pumps. I don't know. I thought two oil pumps would be plenty. Let's check the traffic signs here. Seems to all be in order. Well, mostly. This one will be the main road like that. There's gonna be a main road, I guess, down here at some point. There's no other road intersection on that end. And there we go. Where does the tunnel go? The tunnel goes to our starter town, which is Kurasna. It goes up here. The tunnel was our first mega project. We set up Kurasna and I felt like I didn't have enough space around here. We started in a corner and I didn't want to build around the mountainside or I didn't want to build a road over it, although I did that. So I said, we're gonna flatten this area, get a tunnel in here, and start building in this wide area, building our first large town. So this is the tunnel connection between Korasna, our starter town, and Hellas, where we are setting up the old town first, before um, before more high-tech options. Thank you, game. Very cool. Oil price going down even more. I guess we are having the oil crisis in reverse. I'm tempted to just put the vehicles in storage and not export anymore, as a protest. 
this is ridiculous. I might have to... I might have to get an oil industry. Just so I can make my own fuel. I mean, the fuel price is also going down. But it's still a very high expense if all the other materials are also... If all the other materials are cheap and we can't export them for profit. We basically have to become self-sufficient. Take a loan and import some oil like our electronics. I guess I could build a storage tank and import a bunch of fuel right now while it's cheap. I did that with the with the train diesel station. That is basically our constant fuel import. But maybe I should have another large storage tank here. These pipes don't, don't reach that far, unfortunately. So we could have an oil storage tank here next to the bridge. Could also have it next to the train diesel station itself. But that costs more steel and that's only 11 tons. For 1,500? I mean, we could have that next to the border even. We could just have that over here. I think it would be best to have it next to the eastern border and at some point the price might go up. And then we can export it to the west. I'm also thinking it might need a rail loading station at some point because I don't want to do that with trucks. But that's in the very far future and I guess if it's connected by pipe to the train diesel station it's basically the same. You were laughing, but I'm going to try it. You said, do that as a joke. Well, we're going to try it. Let's see if it does anything. Basically here, but even shorter. Oh no? Oh no what? Do you think it's a terrible idea? Or do you think... Or are you making more fun because I'm... Uh, because I'm now listening to your, to your advice? I think this is probably a good idea to store more fuel here when it's really cheap. And then, if I go with the train idea to have the two tanker cars, I could import oil from, I could import fuel from over here and then export it to the to the west again when the price goes up. I mean, we're pumping our own oil, and then we could import fuel from here and export it to the Sure, it's a terrible idea. What? You're confusing me so much right now. I don't think it's a terrible idea to time your import-export with market fluctuations. Yeah, let's try it. 
I wanted a tank anyway. And this will give us more fuel capacity. Plus another point for loading slash unloading. Without having to build a dedicated loading station. And then I guess I will get another tanker car or two. What? We don't have oil tanks here, right? We don't have cargo wagons for trains that are tanker cars still. I have to get those from the east instead. Which is fine. One of them will be enough. There should be very long tanker cars available, this one. This one has 120 tons of oil for 21 meters. This one has 68 meters for 12. 11... I don't know which one is better. This is 86, 87,000. Well, we get a little bit more carrying capacity. I think we're just going to go for the smaller tanks, I guess. I would need to do math to figure that out. We're just going to get two of these and load them onto our uh, waste train. Actually, you can continue running your route. Um, we will have to... Oh no, the, you are the train that is handling the Never mind. Uh, you are the shunting train that we used for this. Go here. Load any train. And bring it to the depot. We'll have to add the depot after you arrive. Unless I do that. And I can set you on the road. And then add the depot. Alright. Twenty-two percent loyalty is not that low. Plus the house has a very low amount of people right now. Potentially some former prisoners who will have to reintegrate into society and regain their loyalty and trust. But with the research now done, we need fewer workers in the university for sure. 10 in 10 should be enough. If we load too many people, we will bring them back to the bus stop. And probably unload them for transfer instead of just unloading, because we might have too many. So first unload anyone, student, teacher, whatever. And then we start the loading process again. We currently have none, but the next bus might actually have some. Some workers who will be brought back to the bus stop. And then we will have more workers available for the mine route, I think. We shouldn't create any unemployment with the route right now. It's just gonna be a, a lot of be people being carried around. Maybe a bit too much unnecessarily, but... Now that we have three buses, we're gonna use line spacing too. It will slow down some, but that's okay. I do not want to route those buses through the end station right now. And we will always make sure to leave at least 5% of this bus capacity at the bus stop. So it'll load everyone, and then unload a few others to be picked up by other buses. The mine does not have the priority right now. But we did unlock prefab panel buildings, so we have a lot more variety. I do like durable prefab panel buildings more. 
Well, we have a lot of new houses available for us. Where we can have a lot of housing capacity in the area. No more research possible right now. Thirty-eight, thirty-nine thousand US dollars last month. That is looking pretty good. There is still hope. We lost money. Three thousand more than the vehicle imports. So ruble side is looking pretty bad. I guess we might have to run a food factory in Colata. If the price of food is going up that much, then maybe they sh have to take care of a food factory. Uh, we can probably put a food factory next to the scrapyard and just run it in this area instead. And then use the... Uh, use the cargo... well... A food factory... Hmm. A food factory turns crops one ton into half the capacity in food. So we could use the same truck bringing crops here to load food to export. Or bring it to the town itself. Pollution could be an issue if I build a factory here with the heating plant on the other side. And we don't have that many workers yet. I mean we don't have to build the food factory that close, we could build it further away, we have buses as an option. This town being supplied from the eastern border is kind of detrimental. I think I will have to set it up to pick up resources from the west too. Which means they will have a much longer travel distance. But I think this would be the right choice. They will have to go all the way over here to Baroslav and get food from over here. If this doesn't work, if it's too long and they run into supply issues, I would have to build an intermediate warehouse somewhere. The food is only going to get more and more expensive. I guess um, Hellas could also run a food factory and then we transport excess food over to Colatas. We do have extra room here for more for more um, industry. Building industry is expensive and I guess right now we should try and get our existing industry to the efficiency that it can achieve, the maximum efficiency, rather than building new stuff. That's a lot of workers for the heating plant area. Uh, when you come back, you should probably also unload them as a transfer, rather than dropping them off in the area directly. Mm, yep. Happiness going up a bit. Crime being an issue. But that should resolve itself with loyalty and happiness going up, I would assume. Yeah, let's go for food. Um, hmm. How expensive are crops? The crop price is stabilizing on the NATO border, but it's going to continue going up on the ruble side. We could have a factory import for crops. I could also just place a food factory and run it. I'm gonna stay, stick the course right now with the iron mine and with the population growth. I can't add more factories if I'm not running my existing factories at full efficiency yet. We still can have a lot more workers in our other fi um, facilities, so I think we will have to wait a little bit before I commit to more fa industry. But the, f but the citizen goods are the next step. Food factory, alcohol, own fabric production, meat, definitely. I will need to have to, f I will have to find a space for a farm first though. And it will have to be run by train. 
I don't know if the food factory and the distillery will be directly next to the farm or if there will be a train connection. I think it would make sense to have a train connection already implemented. And then we would have a little bit more versatility on where this stuff is being produced. So that is probably the next industry. Um, not counting maybe prefab panel factory, which wouldn't take that many workers to run. But a prefab panel factory wouldn't help us that much right now, I don't think. It would also be expensive to build. I guess it would reduce the price for future construction. I'm mostly concerned about our existing loans though. And I guess we do have to set up gravel, a gravel processing area first. Maybe this area over here will be turned into our gravel slash um, gravel slash prefab panel industry. We would then have an aggregate unloading station for trains and probably an aggregate loading station for gravel and coal to be delivered to different areas. Could hook both of them up to a train station. I might have to optimize my bus routes a bit rather than carrying a lot of workers in buses that aren't being used. Yeah, that doesn't feel very efficient. Standing here blocking the bus stop until we can load enough workers for any of our buses. Hello Berdiger, welcome, thank you very much for the raid. Yeah, this is not going to work. Um, we are just going to set it to load, I guess. No more unloading on the route. How was your stream? Hope you had fun. And I guess I will add the end station just for proper line spacing and speed. That's not great though. We could use this one. So we'll drive around and then come back down here, load workers and drive back up. You're the next in the line. Oh, okay. Are you doing a, doing a chain raid? Because you're all stopping your streams and getting raided just before. Macht your chain raids while you werdet geradet kurz bevor ihr aufhören wollt. Let's take a look at other, our other bus routes. This is for our university. I think we can reduce the amount of workers here. A hundred. So 25% would basically be 25 workers and we only need 10. So put that at 10. Put that at 10. Don't need more. Ah, okay. Thank you. Dankeschön. And our heating plant will get all the workers it needs, but we will limit that to probably 40%. Robotuck from 12 to 15, Berdiger from 15 to 19, now it's your turn. Oh, time wise, okay. Hello, Marcus Brenzel. Thank you. Welcome. That sounds like a plan. I can I can take over, sure. Uh, I might need I might need more buses. Uh, my buses for the mine might not arrive in time. My frequency is 260 right now, so I would need at least five buses to be consistent. But I do think I have enough workspaces locally. We'll probably be fine. This should look much better. Yeah, not as many students anymore. 20 workers total. That means we don't carry around too many people anymore. Alright. 
Well, you've joined us after we have spent our last research point. I'm running some self-imposed restrictions on my workers and resources gameplay. We are playing with low tech, uh, which is something that I set up for myself. And I think I've gotten to a point where it's pretty, pretty nice. What it basically means is you only get research points that you can use when you do specific things. In our case, we get one research point for, for each settlement that we have. In this case, Hellas is one settlement. Korazna is one. And Kolata is one. So we have three research points, plus every 2,500 citizens we get another research point. That means we have four research points that we could spend. And research has to be picked wisely. We have done two researches here. The study on concrete does not count as a research because it doesn't unlock anything. So the first few researches in every area does not unlock anything, so it doesn't count. Um, things like... Uh, example... Things like the automatic, automated forestry. The first research doesn't do anything, but the second research unlocks the functionality that trees are automatically replanted. So it's not just buildings. Functionality also matters. This research, for example. I think it makes the loyalty stay around for longer for your secret police. So it also counts as one. And we've spent our four researches on big monuments, prefab panel construction, automated tree replanting, and the secret police. And that's how we spend our research. I guess I accidentally did another research. We already spent five researches. Because I also researched container standards. Did I miscount? Did I accidentally do an extra research? One for logging. Two, three for these. Secret police four. I, I cheated. I have an extra research. I guess I did the container one. Oh no, I said I did. I, I could do the container one because I wanted to test it right now and not when we actually were wanting to build that. So at some point I will have to say this research that I just unlocked is spent on the containers. So we have. We, we, we took out a loan in uh, research points for container research. And we will have to spend that later. And pay that back later. Okay, money on the US side is looking fairly good. The ruble side is horrendous. Not sure why we're importing steel over there right now. Could get another hundred new migrants. I could. Let's do that. I think loyalty is looking good now, so if we get migrants in the area, they will be decently happy. But that also puts us to the point where we don't have enough housing anymore, so I have to build more houses. I think you're right in the fact that we should probably increase the amount of workers we have quicker. Now that everything is in place, loyalty-wise, and we can send more workers to the mine. I might have to add another bus, just to be sure to make sure we send all the workers over. It's 400 seconds now, but that's mainly due to winter and this road not being cleared. Which is unfortunate. Slows the vehicle down to 16 kilometers an hour. So I guess we might have to just upgrade this road to the mine. The vehicle come out here, head down this way. And then this one, this one, and then this whole section will need to be upgraded. For the time being, they could drive through the tunnel and access the area the other way. Which actually has road clearing. And I guess this one also does. Up to a point, probably. Our snowplows in this area. 
Oh no, they clear everything. I guess we just have a very dense layer of snow now, with a lot of snowfall. So the road clearing services are struggling a little bit to keep up. And we'll also have to pay close attention to our water demand. At some point this area will grow large enough where we can't really keep supplying water by trucks. We just have to set up the pipes. And that also means we have to set up the sewage pipes before. Um, well, we built one of it already. I guess we can build this then too. We can start slowly setting up the sewage system, consolidating all of the sewage into one tank. Maybe I should build it in reverse, maybe I should get the sewage up here first. Set this area up, so the more buildings we hook up, the more we'll go to the sewage discharge directly instead of accumulating all of the sewage into one tank. One house, 13 tons of steel, bunch of bricks, some boards. Shouldn't be that expensive. I think increasing our throughput is the right choice. Uh, rather than building more industries right now. How did your stream go anyway? Did you have fun? Was habt ihr bei euch gemacht, Berdiger, wenn du noch da bist? What have you been doing? If you're still here. We have some unemployment due to low education. But that's because we have got new migrants, so that's not a concern. 3% feels quite high, but yeah, it's only one building right now. Got enough materials for the groundworks and then the building itself. Shouldn't take that long. Because we have good trucks delivering resources. The western trucks carrying up to 30 tons per delivery are quite good. I think I'm gonna trigger the upgrade of this road. Actually no, let's leave it. I don't want this to become a main road. This is only a service road until we have steel cables and then the workers will go up there with a cableway station anyway and no more buses. We also have to pay attention to the um, um, iron ore. If this runs full at some point we definitely need another train. Before we run into problems where we have too much iron ore and not, not enough deliveries and then we can't buy another one because we're not making enough money and the raw resources just keep laying around not being utilized. I think we can have at least tr three trains running this this way. One always being at the customs house and two always loading. And when this one wants to leave, it'll have to wait for one of the other trains to move out and then it could leave to the loading station. Seems like the workplaces over here are almost completely filled and extra workers are either going to go to the mine or the heating plant area or the university. If at some point we run full on the mine then I guess we still have the clothing factory which might not get enough workers right now. Um, 
I think at that point we can just send Koras now all to the clothing factory logging area and then the excess amount to the mine if there's still workers on the bus but the rest should all go to um, just the clothing factory I guess I will change that bus route to make that the main goal I want to run the clothing factory mainly in this area so instead of going in a loop kind of pattern where we go through the bus stop logging camp area and then the bus stop again we will go logging camp, then the iron mine, if there's still workers in it, and then back to the end station. So no more stopping here on the way to the iron mine. If they already unloaded everyone at the clothing factory, they will come back to the end station and go back to the bus stop from there. That will leave the iron mine maybe short-staffed for a little bit, until we increase the amount of workers inside Hellas. But I think the clothing factory is probably our most profitable industry. If it were, if it had enough um, workers in it. We do have to spend a lot of money on fabric. But we also gain a lot of money from the clothing being produced. And we have to spend way fewer deliveries to get a similar result. In profitability. There will still be workers going to the mine, I believe. Alright, this is not cool. Leave. You leave too. Fixed. One second. Leave, leave, leave. Alright, this should hopefully correct the line spacing. Because I merged them all into a single line now. And I guess we don't have enough storage for vehicles in here. Hopefully they can figure things out. But yeah, in general we should get more workers in the clothing factory now. That might lead to the problem where the prison buses can't bring any workers to the, um, the clothing factory anymore. And we might have to send those to the mine instead. Which would be a longer distance of travel. From here. Up the road. To the mine. Can't reserve workplaces in the clothing factory, I guess. But we can fill the gaps. Praying. Lots of people trying to pray for some reason. You unloaded all workers, you're heading back to the end station. And so did you. And so did you. That will be a lot of workers. In the end station only. And a lot fewer inside the mine. We also can think about maybe tearing up the heating plant and removing that. The heating seems to be stable. We don't have a lot of heat in the heat water tank, but it is stable. We have to pump it quite a bit though. We will get another 100 migrants into this building. Set up the next building, another 100 migrants, and we're going to go through all of the residential buildings in this area that way. Seeing if we run into any issues. And in the meantime, start construction on the sewage system. Can we have a 90s zone? No, only down to 50. Never mind. Well, I guess this will have to be 
like that. Sure. be a one-way road in the future but right now we're going to reduce the speed of vehicles moving into this area although there shouldn't be really any because it's a dead end Here, some parts of the sewage network are already built. I'm not gonna wait until I have the prefab panel factory to build this. I'm gonna set it up right now because I think with the increase in population here we will need a proper functioning sewage system and water network. And roof construction still missing, we'll get that in place. Hire some people for our Republic. them to work. If I do have housing over here, in the beginning they will have to go to the bus stop and be carried over to Hellas Old Town to deal with their demands on shopping. Um, mostly electronics and clothing. I will give them a small grocer in the area to walk to. But I don't think a large shopping, stereo, um, large shopping center would be set up in this area. This is not really the point of that. Plus there would be mostly hall of residences with some room for teachers in the area. All materials have been delivered. Mm, let's finish the house construction. I kind of want to prevent these road cranes from being, going into building constructions. I would like to see our tower cranes. But I haven't set that up correctly yet. Because the vehicles are always used for carrying materials to construction sites before the tower cranes. And thus the tower cranes arrive later than available road cranes. Okay, come on, finish the construction of that flat. We will start the next one. Our heat exchanger still has more than half capacity. We'll just have to be a bit careful. I think all of the houses that we have planned will fit in this area no problem. One thing I'm concerned about is our clinic. I think I will have to build another one to be safe over here. that healthcare does not start being an issue and I don't want a hospital in here a hospital will be built somewhere down there so I think two clinics at the very least need to be built and for that we also will need the local waste storage that will have to be set to hold some hazardous waste like this one 6.2 tons at 6.5 it should get picked up and we shouldn't run into issues where we have too much waste. 
get carried over here into our waste storage from where it is either sent to the customs house because we don't have an incinerator yet or the train station which I guess I haven't been running for a bit but that's okay uh, we did send our train over here did we really only bring one train car? I, I'm pretty sure I bought two but I guess I left the um, the waste cars attached so it couldn't actually load the other ones so we'll have to go one more time and get the other tanker car in the meantime I can fix the route for the waste export Corazna waste Mine. Well, I guess export. Mine waste export. And then it will have fuel inside that we just have to remember. And I will have to set that up. Now that I have changed the route, it is not assigned anymore, right? Ah, it still knows about it. Went refueling, that's fine. Yeah, train setup could be better over here, but I guess it's not a problem. We definitely need our waste train back before this starts filling up because we're sending um, the Hellas waste over there too. At some point, I will have to get a small train for shunting new train cars, but right now our existing train will have to do. This is horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Uh, we'll change our electronic import to the western side. And probably our repair materials, including steel. So that would be Colata. Could also change the construction materials, I guess. Basically everything that is not immediately imminently urgent like food. Fuel. We'll have to drive longer to get it. Repair station materials. Why is it called meat rail construction? Oh no, road cargo station. Right, right, right. Uh, I remember. Gonna load the meat from here too. And then we have all of our construction trucks. I guess the construction trucks are not that important right now. I will do the repair station materials and citizen goods. I think those ones, hooking them up to the um, western border will be cheaper and we'll have an easier time seeing if we still earn money or not. Right now it's mostly not the case. I should also export the few, um, oil to the eastern, uh, western border, but I don't want to do that in a train of like road vehicles, that would be too much. Coal for heating in Colada is imminently urgent, so we will not change that, but the electronics will be gotten from the customs house over here. And yes, this is set to 100% loading on each of them, but the resources are still shared in the vehicle because I set the 
I set the limitation on the vehicle itself, not on the line. So they can only fit at most 1.9 tons of electronics on the truck. And then they, on the second load, they load as many clo as much clothing in there as possible, which is not going to be 3.1 tons, but the rest of the space basically. Clothing we are producing domestically. And then I guess we still have our construction material that we will have to switch at some point. And that should be about it. Construction, construction. Yeah, I think that's about it. Let's see how our money will look like in a while. Low education again, but well, that's normal. As soon as we have the groundworks for this building, I will start another one. And I will keep going that way, I think. Until we are lower than 100,000 US dollars, then I will start slowing down. You have too many workers. 20 plus heating plants, so at most 50 workers are necessary. We don't need to load more than 50 workers here. And I've set it to 40%, so it is correct. But I guess sometimes we still have some extra workers in there. And I guess for those I should not use the transfer station anymore. I should just unload them. Otherwise I am going to load them instantly again. If they're at the bus stop still. I'm just gonna unload everyone. Let them find local workplaces. Hopefully that's enough. One person unemployed due to sickness. Well, get get well soon, I guess. Low citizen loyalty in our Hall of Residence in Karasna. That is usually an indicator of only one person being in there, which is good. It means that we are keeping up with the education demand in Karasna now. And Hellas is also able to deal with its own education demand. Happiness is down to 72, but that is because we got a bunch of migrants. So these migrants arrive with very low loyalty and happiness for the government. Although our average loyalty went up, we're up to 34. So the Red Star Monument definitely helps. It did do its job, and still is. Two more deliveries of resources, gravel and asphalt. Uh, we will put this to high priority, otherwise they are going to focus on the construction of our sewage system. And I would like to finish the housing first. They can build a sewage system if nothing else needs to be built. And then all of these buildings as I assign them will be high priority. And as soon as we have all of these houses built, we will take a first person view traveling down the main road into a vehicle that wants to go somewhere in this area. So we don't go here and then immediately turn off. I want to see the whole road. What it looks like. I guess the back alley would also be nice to see. This might look very nice as well with all of the trees and the service buildings, footpath entrances, etc. lined up here. not be too difficult to check. We could just pick a bus that is going to the mine and then it would head down here and we could see. One dump truck bringing gravel. Unfortunately it's a very small one and this one's bringing the rest and then we need asphalt. And at that point we can start building the next building. Money is looking pretty tight again. But as soon as I stop constructing, um, our new migrants should be educated and improving the production efficiency of our mine. And hopefully the clothing factory is going to look better soon too. Otherwise I might have to bring some workers over 
from Hellas as well. Could have a few more houses, this might not be at capacity. I just have to be very careful with the heating. But I think two extra buildings with 50 workers each would be acceptable. Let's start building one of these houses. Not at priority, just in general. So the houses in Hellas will still have priority before that. Two dump trucks on its way. Gravel. And asphalt. That means we can set up the next building. To be constructed too. I'm not going to start them all at the same time because the game tries to evenly send construction materials and I don't have that much construction equipment right now because of our money situation. Maybe I can send a few vehicles for to the scrapyard. Our bulldozers over here have then have done their tasks accidentally. But before we need more flattening, I think um, we will earn more money getting better equipment at that point. The excavator will remain. That one is proving useful. We'll also have to empty out these materials at some point. I haven't set up transportation routes for that yet. I guess the vehicle is picking up materials for the repair station should probably go over here first grabbing as much material as possible and then going to the customs house before they choose to import can't add it as a stop before the uh, before that since they don't have to stop here and wait I can just tell them to go to the repair station directly and then I guess we will have to re-add the customs house where they have to re have to fill up the rest of materials. I could do that for all repair stations, Korazna and Kolata, but I'm not sure we're going to get a lot of material out of it. I don't know if this was the right choice. I should keep I should keep my material centralized. I think the correct choice would be wait until fully loaded and then unload into a general warehouse somewhere. Or just export and not deal with it and then re-import, which would waste money, but I wouldn't have to build local storage facilities. I guess I have a lot of storage inside the scrapping facility, so I won't worry about it right now. I removed the wrong stop. Cancel. Re-add the customs house and remove the scrapping facility. I mean, we're sending all vehicles to be scrapped from all over our republic, which is only three towns right now, to the scrapyard, so maybe Kolata would not need any steel imports anymore. But it is also using steel for construction, not just for maintenance of vehicles. So it's not a guaranteed thing. I will have to organize a central storage and then distribute it among our Republic. And then in that central storage I can have all of the repair materials being delivered. And then add on top of that uh, resources if it isn't enough. It would be way easier with a distribution office for sure. But we don't have access to those. Maybe I should load everything into containers at the repair facility. All electronics, mechanical components. That would be a lot of overkill though. At least right now. Maybe when we get to a decently sized Republic with a lot of vehicles being scrapped. Maybe that makes sense, having a container loading facility there. I 
I could also consider building a gravel storage here, so we don't have to go to the customs house. Having one truck always keeping the gravel storage filled, and then at some point a burst of construction will happen, all vehicles will be able to supply at the gravel storage, and the customs house is basically free from traffic, only having one vehicle there. Well, I hope you figure out your line spacing. Um, we do have a lot of vehicles and not a lot of buses heading to heading to the mine anymore, so I guess I can probably remove two vehicles. When they're in the bus and station, you can't give them orders. So we'll pick a different one. That should be enough buses and occasionally they will have to go to the mine if we have too many workers. But I think the clothing factory and logging area will provide enough workplaces for all of the workers in this area to find employment. I think. Maybe we still have too many vehicles. We have four buses now. The average lap time is 380 seconds, but that is because of the very long waiting time at the bus end station. So I think it'll it'll fix itself with the fewer buses. And then we can come back later and maybe remove an extra bus. If it's still too much. Got all the resources for the groundworks here start the next one. And yeah, two forklifts are more than enough for this setup right now. I don't think I will need any more than that, because this is not a very large shopping center, so this should be able to deal with the demand. And the sellers won't have to deal with restocking the shelves, or at least the back room from the warehouse to the shopping center. The forklifts can do that. Money is getting a little bit low. I think this will be the last building. Because I still have to get migrants and I have to spend about 20,000 per 100 migrants. A little bit more than that. And so these three buildings are probably going to be it for now. I might not even get people for the last one. The money situation is a little bit concerning. I guess the amount of workers in Corazna is also low because we're taking construction office workers from it. So if we weren't building, more workers would go to the clothing factory and or mine. At least the upside of constructing multiple buildings at the same time is that we will probably see our tower cranes, hopefully. We do have to make a one resource delivery of every type here before the cranes are sent out. And if we finish the construction of this building first, then I guess the other road cranes will be available again. We'll see what happens. We're also building the sewage system, which is going to take more resources. Okay, we're making a little bit of profit again now that we're not importing from the eastern side. But that does also mean we have more expenses on the western border, I guess. And I said I was more fine with taking out loans in rubles than in US dollars. So things are not looking the way I had it planned, I guess. How is how's the price of fertilizer? Liquid fertilizer. 
Liquid fertilizer seems to be a very good choice to transport. Oil price is very similar, but liquid fertilizer is not. So if I were, for example, to get fuel from here for 200 and sell it 240, or oh, let's 220 to sell 240, and then take the money to transfer liquid fertilizer, I don't think I would make a profit. But I think liquid fertilizer is going to be a better, a better good to transfer between the borders than fuel, at least from west to east. So instead of bitumen, you should carry liquid fertilizer. Do that once. And yes, traffic is very high here. I get it. Um, I guess our fuel truck bringing fuel to um, the rail yard train diesel station. Should still be able to run. Uh, I guess this is only a one-way connection, so we will have to tell the vehicle to unload into the storage tank instead now. Mm -hmm. From which the fuel will automatically shift over to the diesel station. And then we can tell it to wait until unloaded here, because the other vehicles load at the train diesel station, so one vehicle waiting here is not going to be a problem. I really hope they add better throughput on the customs houses. At least one where smaller vehicles aren't excessively disadvantaged. So 1000 US dollars into 1800 rubles, approximately, which isn't bad. Aluminium is definitely faster. But it is what it is. Okay, that's a lot of import on the western border. Steel is going to be necessary for the house constructions. And I think maybe the occasional sewage switch will also need steel. I haven't started any water pipes yet, they also need a lot of steel. Hopefully I didn't accidentally start the construction of another heating pipe, that would be disastrous. Okay, so we're gonna spend about 60,000 US dollars to get more migrants. Maybe 40,000, only two buildings, the last one will be kept open. Another 200 people, 200 workers, maybe 300 citizens. I need to focus on my waste train, we are starting to run full. Also, we don't need the... Oh god, this is going to be so expensive if I do the fuel imports right now. The fuel import. Uh, you are going to be... Custom train route. Can't see it. No, it is there. I'm blind. I was looking for oil. Waste export go. And then I guess instead of our truck, we need another pipe. No, this is only loading, right? This has no unloading in the train diesel station. I guess this is just for export, if we want to export. The pipe connection, that is. The import is still done by truck and very slowly, but if we ever want to export, we can use the train and just turn it on. Set the flag, load the fuel, export at that point. Yeah. We're right now not using it. Okay, we're waiting for the mixed waste to be carried away before we run full on mixed waste here. We still have a lot of time left. 
and the train is running again, so it shouldn't take that long. But if it breaks, we wouldn't get a warning about it, which is very concerning. And at some point this train would go into an incinerator area rather than to the border, which would be more efficient. Next building is up. 23,740 US dollars per 100 migrants. And we can do that one more time before we are too short on money. And I'm not going to spend any money to get more migrants for the time being. A little bit of unemployment. Which area is that in? Here. So we have to consider adding another bus here. Because that's where most of the workers are going to go to. Oh, you only picked up one person. One complaint in Colata about loyalty. Let's go over and check. They do have a better monument now, so it shouldn't be a main concern anymore. And most of the buildings are very good loyalty now, 30 and up. We still have one here that is fairly low. Quality of flats is decent. Average lifespan is okay. But the loyalty is struggling a little bit. Since we only have 20 workers per building, if one worker has a really low loyalty moving in with as a former prisoner, it might drive down the loyalty. And yeah, we have some people that are 1% or 0% loyalty. Zero criminality though. I assume they... I don't know, their loyalty is really low. If they have the same issue again where all of the demands are met, this person, I just paused it, 15 minutes free time left, 14% happiness, 0% loyalty. Um, let's see what happens if the happiness goes up or down. 12. So there's still a bug here. I don't know what. I did report it and I got a response that I need monuments and stuff, but... This is still occurring. This should not happen that way. We have excessive loyalty in the area at least from how it looks like i don't know if it works that way if they have to walk past the monument with the footpath being connected then yeah most of them are walking a different way i guess let's see again free time getting food and meat no problem going to the grocer getting food and meat then walking out the other side and getting electronics. And then teleporting back home. All demands met, 12% happiness, still 0% loyalty. No change in happiness, no change in loyalty. I don't know. Does not feel correct. At least the happiness didn't go down, but... For some people, loyalty doesn't go up anymore, it seems like. We do have a secret police over here now, and can see that. Next building is up. Uh, we don't have the money to get more citizens, I guess. So I won't. The amount of workers in the mine is not that great. But clothing factory should be better, right? Well, theoretically. This building has almost all the resources it needs to. Hmm. Something is kinda weird. Where are all of our workers?
We have limited the amount of workers going to the university and the heating plant area. Maybe the heating plant is getting too too many. You barely loaded workers. I guess I'm not loading highly educated workers on that route. We have to change that. Now that the education is set up correctly, we can load anyone. Constructions maybe? Maybe. Uh, we are not picking up workers for construction here and the other buildings I haven't increased the amount of workers. The issue seems to have been that we are not picking up the highly educated workers in the area for the mine. So hopefully that has been resolved now and we get a few extra workers going up there. Well, we took most of the workers away, but at least we have a few extra. On this one we are also going to remove the transfer stop, I think. 10% workers, 10% that. Yeah, if we have workers inside, just unload them into local area buildings. No transfer anymore. Oh, you didn't find place for them. Okay. Well, hopefully on the second route you will find um, a workplace inside the university for them. Three buses, 470 seconds. It's pretty good. Stealing all the workers again. You kind of need some repairs soon. And we're out of money. My chat got disconnected for a little bit. I hope I didn't miss anything. So we do have money again. Seventy extra workers scheduled to get an education. Let's spend money to make money. We have two extra buses here. Um, they are not high capacity, but we don't need it right now. I will throw them onto the route towards the mine. So we have a consistent setup with enough buses. And then I guess we're gonna get some more rubles from the refreshed loan. Construction is slowing down so the customs house isn't as overworked anymore. And our waste situation is also starting to improve. I think we might have to leave the train cars in the, in the depot and just get more waste storage for the train here at some point. Yeah, the waste is gone again. Excellent. There's a little bit of hazardous waste in here. Oh, that means we should turn the factory connection around. There you go. Got a little bit of waste out of that area. So I guess since we refreshed the loan and we got some money again, we're going to fill the last building with foreign workers too. Not foreign workers, for, with new migrants. And then we have an extra 300 workers from migration. An extra 100 workers that could potentially go up to the mine. If our route can keep up with it. 300 seconds would be 5 vehicles. We have 5 vehicles right now and slightly over 300. Which is unfortunate. Could improve the speed with better roads, but the bendy buses aren't 
any faster on asphalt. It would help during winter though, they wouldn't slow down as much on snowed in asphalt roads compared to gravel. So it could still help. Yeah, you barely can load enough workers for the heating plant. We will reduce the overall amount down to 30%. Gotta be careful, we still need enough workers. But I guess we have too many workers in general on the bus route now. Which might lead to some unemployment. And then our university also couldn't unload all the workers. So I guess all the local facilities are completely occupied with local workforce, which makes sense. Which also means I probably don't need the assignment anymore to send workers directly to the bus stop. But it's still nice to have it. And slowly we were filling up our buses going to the iron mine. I'm pretty sure that we will have to get another another train. Well, it's looking like that point is going to happen fairly soon. We're almost at the capacity of the train again. Let's prepare another train. Another cheap one. So expensive. And these ones have two, four, six, eight train cars. This train will fill up and there will still be some residual iron ore in the storage, right? Or maybe not. No, it's barely enough to keep up. Okay, a tiny amount extra. So we're getting to the point where, yes, our iron mine is producing more than our train is carrying away. Could also make the train longer, but then we would have to mess around with the way it's traveling. So I think another train is probably the right choice. thousand US dollars at least, which is nice. And 9,000 for the boards. In dollars. Ruble price is not much higher. Okay, production is a little bit slower now. But sometimes we get a nice boost of workers, which is really appreciated. Oh yeah and our new small clinic, which will need an ambulance that we can provide. We have five more buildings to construct, but we don't have the resources right now. We would have made a profit if it weren't for the migrant invitations, so things are looking okay. That does not include the loan repayments though. Maybe our train is still able to keep up, maybe. The transportation here is getting to be the bottleneck in the future, for sure. So another passing lane will have to be constructed. Or maybe hooking up our passing lanes into a double track, but that would mean I would have to upgrade and build another bridge, which I haven't planned for. Also with the road missing, the pillars look weird. one I guess. I 
I don't think this is going to work that easily. That's better. Because we also need a connection over here. Because they need to go back into this. We might just double track it all the way to the bridge and then leave the bridge as a choke point. Like this whole area double track. It would basically be a very long passing passing track. So they can move in to all three lanes and they can move out to all three lanes when we set it up correctly. That looks a little bit horrendous. A little bit ugly, but I didn't plan this out as a double track, so I will have to do. And then over here is the question if we can make this work. Uh, we probably have to flatten the terrain before we can move this through here. But that should not be the biggest worry, I don't think. It might be. This is a very steep hill. We could relocate our whole train route over here through this area instead of along the road and make this the first track to go over there and then hook up into this and phase out this line basically. Okay, we need another train for sure. train is going to refuel right now it looks like. Let's get our cheap western locomotive and then take out more loan because of course we do. Up to 1.75. I don't know how much I will have to pay for the train cars so I'm just gonna take out more than I need I assume and get eight train cars ready. We're gonna start with, uh, I think color white was it. 
for the covered hopper, uh, not covered hoppers, for the open hoppers. I guess we have different ones now. No, they were available from the start. These ones, 90 tons. I think it was yellow. I have to check so I don't buy the wrong, the wrong color. Uh, no, we start on white. I guess they have turned around wrong here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one more. I said eight. We're out of rubles. Take out another loan. That was the wrong one to return. Return that one. Alright. Here's our train. Go here, load any train car. Bring it back to the depot. Did you already refuel? No. You can do that on the return trip, I guess. Iron price going up. Yes. Yes, please. Finally some relief. Hopefully. Um, color scheme. I think this one. We'll have to run once more because you can only pick up six. Oh, the waste train is so slow. But once we double track the area, this will be less of an issue. So we have to do some rail construction to fix this. But then it should be fine. I don't think I have any bulldozers left. We'll bulldoze this area, flatten it, get the train line to go up here double track it all the way to the corner and then remove this whole train line and then we have this area for maybe a little bit more housing if we want to have any extra was it a significant iron ore spike or uh, I should read these messages but they it would be nice if they had had different icons like if they had a triple up arrow for a very a very spiky iron ore price change and just a single up arrow if it's a long-term price spike but let's see price for iron seems to be a more long-term one it's not as spiky as it could be but the price went up in general all right go and get the last cars please I also want to reorganize the white and yellow car here to put it in line with how you buy the train cars, I guess. But that's that's a little bit pointless right now. That is a good amount of workers, but it also shows us that we might need a third and a fourth and maybe even a fifth train on the iron line if we want to run this at full capacity. Even if we were to use it to turn the iron ore into proper iron. I guess now that we have that many workers, we could think about doing that locally. Have an iron ore processing plant in the area. It would basically replace the iron storage though. As a building. And then we would remove this, put the processing facility in place. And maybe have another storage further down here with a road connection to somewhere over here, maybe. And then the processing area would receive workers from the bus stop as per normal. It would reduce the amount of vehicles we would need. That might be the way to go before we start expanding. Before we need a third or a fourth train, save up a bunch of money and consider reworking our current storage situation. So we turn it into iron ore first. The iron ore first into iron, proper iron. Automatic tree replanting doing its work. I don't have to get involved anymore. 
And we will have to take down these trees on the outside. At least, I think I want to take them down. Looks like we can plant trees, but not remove them from across the border. So there will still be a forest over there, which is fine. But I want to leave my forested area to only the area that can be replanted. I didn't want to put such a large forest over here. Train depot. So which train was it first? The yellow. Come on. Uh, white, yellow, red. Assigned to iron ore export. And my chat reconnected again. I hope I'm not losing anything. I'm gonna go to Twitch real quick and see if I'm missing anything, but I think I should be fine. Uh, there might be a little bit of a duplicate audio. Uh, I should have caught it. Nope, don't see any other chat messages, so we should be good. And if we aren't, then I guess I'm not seeing that until the stream is over. So the second train should last us for a bit. And then the rail construction we will have to plan out with a bulldozer in the area. I guess we'll get one over here. Don't know if we have the better ones yet. Nope, still this one. Which is fine. One will do. Don't need many right now. I don't think I will do the rail construction right now. The two trains, two trains will be able to organize themselves to not to to keep up with the demand of the rail network right now. If I rework this, we will have to spend a considerable amount of money. And it's mainly for lowering the amount that our trains have to carry. There will still be some economic benefit for it, but the building itself costs 200 tons of steel. So better not to do it during a price spike for the iron. Some more workers and that should be it for now. No more no more foreign workers as migrants right now. We still can wait for some domestic population growth. We are 1000 workers away from another research and the next research will not be the repayment of the container loading facility. The next research will be the unlocking of the map overlays for the basic resources, coal, iron and oil. Since we don't know where stuff is. And we lucked out with the iron, seeing that, I guess. There's only one... One exit here for the aggregate from the mine. So if we start reworking, our iron mine would basically stop operating. Does this not work? It should work. It might need more fuel before it starts pushing over, but I guess we're gonna find out if we run out of fuel or not. Should be hooked up at the very least. 
But it's a passive building into a passive building, so the trains will have to arrive here and suck the fuel from uh, the fuel storage, I imagine. We'll see if it works. And having another train will increase our fuel consumption as well. Bulldozer should be available. Let's prepare this area. So this is going to be the left side lane, because I can't fit another bridge here. Eventually I might have another bridge. I don't have this planned right now. So the train would go this way, and then join over here, back into this connection. So we have to flatten a little bit of terrain. And now comes the point where I realize that one bulldozer might not be as might not be good enough. But do I want to spend the resources on more vehicles right now? Not really. What I will do instead is I will use a small trick to use my excavators instead. So will you pick a long building and trick the game into thinking that I want to build something here. And that is also a little bit faster than a bulldozer. And then we'll flatten it with a bulldozer in the end to make sure we don't have any significant walls that are very steep like the one I'm creating to the left here. Right, there goes the terrain. We're slowly getting through the hill. Maybe I can use a smaller one sideways. I'm just holding the mouse button down while it was yellow. So even if I go to the green area, it doesn't auto place. It just keeps flattening. Okay, basically gone through the gone through the hill. Now we have to fix the terrain up. The area next to the road might become more buildings. And then we use the averaging to go down here. Or terrain smooth I should say. has to be at least yellow, otherwise the train is going to complain about... Well, this is going to be a steep slope regardless. This is going to be very steep. Yeah, that red section is a little bit too much. But we can flatten it here, if it is too steep. It lets me place it that way, which is interesting. Disable line snapping when we get to this area. Uh, line snapping should stay on, I will have to find the correct place here, I think. Yeah, we might have to just use one train track before we set up the other area. and then flatten over here a bit more to increase the space that we have available. this one up and we build all of these they can still use this 
as the current uh, train route while we then demolish the other one and hook up this line again. I guess this is incorrect. Because this should hook up in here. We will eventually build another bridge, I assume. So this will have, have to hook up to this line instead. And this will come around and temporarily merge into this location until we set up another bridge. And then we will use line snapping again, otherwise this is going to look a little bit confusing. Better. And yeah, this is a very sharp corner. I'm gonna make it look proper. Oh, a little bit better. Howdy comrade, how is the week today? Uh, no wheat. Lots of tr uh, new train tracks being planned though. Uh, this is very steep, but I guess it'll have to do. I wish I could remove this. How's your day going? Busy between meetings. Between meetings, okay. Then I hope you have a good bit of spare time right now. minutes. Well, thank you for wasting your three minutes on my stream. I appreciate it. I hope you like what you see. Um, just to give you an overview, this is Hellas right now. So we did start populating it. Did get a lot of foreign workers for the area, sending them up to the iron mine. And we had to get another train, uh, which also has all colored train cars. And that's why we're expanding this area, because right now the train route is going to be the bottleneck. And I think we can afford it, although we are paying back a significant amount of loans for oh, 4k few people now. Uh, yes, but most of that is recently from immigrants. So, well, it isn't actually. Only 1,640 people from immigrants, from migration, but most many of them were recent, yeah. Um, I think this is okay. Looks a little bit weird, but I think it's still okay. I have a different idea, though. Um, we're going to redo this rail section completely. So basically I want to go out a little bit and then hook up to this side. So we're gonna not go in parallel here. If it lets us. Maybe I should have left it the way it was. Might be a little bit steep, but in general, this is what I am trying to set up right now. Go here, go to the outside, go back to parallel. So they 
have to switch out of this area. Like that. I think this is okay for me. We're going to start this rail line construction. Uh, one lane only. We will have to merge in here. Then we will have to take down the other lane. And then we can build the last one. So this whole lane will have to go away at that point. Let's start our rail construction again. The rail construction vehicles will slow things down over here too. I think if we can double track all the way to the passing lane, then it's not going to be a passing lane anymore. It's going to be double track all the way up here, and then it turns into a single lane to the depot, the logging area, and the repair station, which will increase throughput a lot. And thankfully, once the train tracks have been built, we don't have to maintain them. Iron ore price has re recovered. And we're still getting good profit from it. So we should continue running this. If you are also going to decide to refuel at the same time like this train, then there will be a little bit of a traffic jam. But hopefully it won't be for too long. So I guess at some point we will have to have a train here that is always loading. The storage is not that large. It will be better setting up the processing facility, but I couldn't, I don't think I, it would have made sense to build it right away. Maybe it would have, maybe it would have made sense to get it before I got, I've gotten the workers. I do like making sure that this area is set up to the point where I know that it will work though. And then we can repay our US based loan a little bit, make sure we have at least probably 500,000 US dollars in the bank account and then start tearing up the current system. We will have to rebuild all the conveyors as well. The processing facility will go in here and then another storage closer to this area for which we will have to flatten the terrain. And in the meantime, I guess we could send, try and send the workers to the clothing factory. Although there is a decent amount of workers there now. So also some more income from clothing production. I haven't heard any complaints about Colata anymore. Neither from the resource deliveries for clothing and um, electronics. Which consumption is very slow, so that's probably the reason. Uh, no happiness and loyalty. Yes, there was one person who drove down happiness and loyalty for some reason. 0% loyalty and happiness just kept staying down even though they could meet their demands. But maybe they finally warmed up to our um, Soviet Star Monument. The Red Star Monument. So... Things seem to be better now. A lot fewer warnings about happiness and loyalty. Definitely appreciate it. Crime, low government loyalty, unable to get clothing, and prison, still a concern. I'm not sure where they are unable to get clothing though. I do have these set to give me warning messages whenever goods are missing and I haven't received any. Don't know if I forgot the setting for the new grocer. Well, I did, but the thought here was that maybe the resources are used up before they are used up in our main shopping center. Citizen health low, a single person moved into the hall of residence, I guess. 21 years of age, but you finished your education, so you're gonna move out as soon as your free time is over, I would guess. Or maybe after work, Pro probably after free time. Spending 16 hours moving. 
And there you go. New residential building. A thousand citizens until we get our new research. And then we can see where the resources are on the map. And we need to know. I probably need to prepare for coal soon. And that would allow me to maybe then also save up for a research slot on getting steel and the steel cables for the cableway stations. I would need two researchers to get up to the cableways though. Traffic jam for sewage. Okay, so that signal is incorrect. It is a chain signal. So I'm not sure how I guess you got into this block. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. You go back home and we will remove that signal. I wasn't quite sure if we needed it. Looks like the answer is no. Okay, if there's an oncoming train you will have to wait. And there is. But if you get past this area, you can continue building. So there will be... In the future there will be signals here. Right now you need the information that you can build towards this area. And then in the future not block the traffic. And on this side we will need temporary signals here too. Just on this side for now. Meeting over five, love five minute meetings. Oh, okay. I thought it was a longer one. I thought you had a very short break between longer meetings. Didn't know it was a short one. There's our colored trains in alternating color. Trying to keep the same color pattern, but offsetting the, the train colors a little bit. Construction train. Now able to leave and build this lane. No, this not this one. Okay. And our waste train is down here too. The waste train should be able to keep up with demand still. Um, our okay. Our demand on waste generation in the mine is okay. Going to go up significantly. So right now we are full. We can't actually get any more iron. You are going to go to the depot and we will buy more waste wagons, larger waste wagons. So we have ES waste and we have EAS waste and these ones can carry 56 tons. get two of these and we're gonna sell the other wagons that we have even the uh, we will unload the fuel cars for now I don't know how large the new waste wagons are was a short break in between I thought this meeting would go longer but thankfully we all got to the point quickly and agreed on next steps excellent short meetings are best meetings if you can come to an agreement if you just have a short meeting without a solution or a next step then it's not ideal. And it was just a break, I guess. But sometimes these meetings also happen where you can't agree on anything and you need another one. Clear your head. I guess there's always things that can happen. So yeah, we're gonna pick up the new waste cars and deal with the increased waste production of the mine. Uh, you're gonna transfer some more liquid fertilizer over because we spent a lot of money on new wagons. I will probably keep the smaller ones around for now. Actually no, I will sell them. These ones are very small. They're not going to be useful in the future. So we will remove you and set up a new route for you. This time you will have to sell some train cars, mm -hmm. which hopefully works. So, train cars and then load train cars. 
and then you have to come back to the depot. True, true, true. Maybe I should get more. Maybe I should get more race cars, but we are going up from 36 tons to over 110 tons. So three times the capacity, which is probably going to be enough. There's our truck carrying uh, alcohol to Colata. For that long route, it might not make sense. Yeah, I think the alcohol will have to pick up alcohol from the eastern border for now. Otherwise, we're going to run out. I could also get a larger truck, but nah, it's fine. No alcohol from here, it's fine. I hope I set that up correctly. I believe I did. But check and verify. Load alcohol. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I will refresh my loan and get let, let me compare the length of these cars. It doesn't really matter right now because I can just add on top of it. But these ones are 13 tons, 10 meters. And these ones are... They're basically 40% longer. I think we're gonna go for extra train cars. So refresh. I will need more loan. I think the liquid fertilizer hasn't arrived yet. Since this is also handling the waste for Hellas, I need to be a bit more careful. So I'll get two extra waste cars. Probably not going to be able to load all of them at the same time. I need another shunting train. Right now nothing is working on the iron front. And this train is so slow. Our iron ore mine is pretty much at a standstill now, right? No. What is happening? Why are you still working? Oh, you still have internal storage capacity, 93 tons. Okay, sure. I guess the um, um, technical office will probably benefit from another vehicle too. What's the benefit between these two? They have the same carrying capacity. This one has more engine power, so probably a little bit faster acceleration, but it's also way costlier. It does, however, look a bit more modern. But in our case, we can just go for an old one, I think. Yep, we loaded three of the four wagons. Well, that's fine. We have to go to the depot to assemble. And then the fourth one we will bring with another train at some point. I need to get back to hauling waste. And our town is also running full because the mixed waste is not being carried away, but we do have a huge amount of storage capacity. So the iron ore mine should run into issues before our town does, I believe. I think our shunting train will probably be a, the red one that we currently have, and we will replace this one with a faster train. I'm to the point where I think we will do that right now. We're going to buy another train. And this is a service train, so it will be the red one. Hauling waste and maybe eventually fuel too. So the shunting train could pick up the other train car. The shunting train being the one heading to the depot right now from this side where the waste train can already start running. And because it will now have the same speed as the other trains, it will not be a bottleneck on the track anymore. And it will be just as fast. And yeah, this train can get the other train cars in the meantime. 
Hopefully the refueling will still work, but I think it does. I think it will. Your route does not have unloading anymore. We did sell all of the other train cars and you can get the last one. And you will be assigned to mine waste export. Good luck. I hope that the newer train cars can load unload faster, but I'm not sure. Speed seems to be okay, but yeah, we can definitely add more train cars to it. Um, up to this point, I guess. Maybe I'm incorrect. Uh, this is a 58 meter long train, 57. Okay, this is a hundred meters. Well, we can add one more train car for sure. But if we want a longer train, we will have to make sure it always comes in from this side. And that's the point where we will add the fuel, the fuel, uh, the fuel cars, and then haul fuel here, and then head out, head down here to get the waste loaded, and then go to the customs house. All right, we're back in business. Uh, but I don't think we have the throughput capacity. I think the train loading is just too slow. I don't think we're keeping up with things. There's a lot of waste capacity, but the loading process is just too slow. We might actually have to go for the... for the waste storage with the claw. I assume it loads faster. We definitely, well, the one with the rail connection. Definitely don't have room for it here though. Proper technical service with multiple waste trucks hauling the waste away from this area will also have to happen. Two trucks might not be enough. Do they unload into the train directly? No. I wait to be emptied out. What if we had the factory connection of the mine directly connected for a train so we don't have to transport anything with vehicles anymore? That means we would have to set up a train line going up here. And also there's no guarantee that it will slow fast or slowly. My assumption it will probably be the same as this factory connection. And this is really slow. I think we're producing more waste than we're hauling away right now. The trucks are definitely faster. What if I told our technical office to unload? Ah, I thought I could do this. Okay, let me try a truck directly un unloading into the um, into the train. I oh, know I already did that, didn't I? I already unloaded here once when the unloading station was at that place, and it didn't increase the unloading speed. I think the dump with a claw machine is what we will have to do. The trucks can haul it pretty quickly out of the area to the dump, and then from the dump we will have to handle it. So I guess we will have to set up a dump. We could replace the um, the depot and put the dump in here. That would be an option. Would leave the area otherwise untouched. We still have our rail depot over here, which is our repair depot as well. And it would be far away enough from our residential area to not cause any pollution issues. 
when we could take all of this away. I guess I will have to set it up and try. See if the un if the loading speed increases. Because this is not sustainable. The trucks could haul way more waste away from this area right now. They just spend a long time waiting here to load. So now that our shunting train is back, we will relocate that into our other depot and we'll start demolishing this one. Right after the building maintenance finished. And then I guess I will have to... Do I even need the waste storages on the rail construction office? I guess I do. I was wondering if I could maybe... If I could load the waste here directly at, on the building instead of building the waste storage. But no, I will have to make a garbage transfer to load the waste because this is a small rail construction office and it does not have internal storage for that. This waste storage is temporary again. For how long, I don't know. But right now, temporary. This should be able to connect. We're gonna use a gravel road. Uh, if we can build one through here. Looks like it was not able to go through. But this is centered. Okay, this works. Get this in place. Get our waste storage up. And then we need to demolish some train tracks next to the depot. To make sure we can fit in the the new dump with the claw. And then all waste will be delivered over there instead. It's a shame this doesn't work. But I guess for small settlements it still works. Like if you don't have a lot of waste you can just dump it into a compact storage. It will be a very slow loading process though. Electricity in the area should be sufficient I assume. We might not need... I guess the bypass line is still good. Refueling can be done at the gas station in both directions. We still can get to the customs house for buying uh, train cars. And we'll just have to dump in the area. After all of the waste has been removed, which will take a while. I'm getting a little bit annoyed that you always stay stuck with waste, so I'm just going to send everything to the customs house in the east, which is the closest one. I guess it couldn't unload the mixed waste because the storage is full and there's already a truck here unloading, which makes sense. So right now our iron production is very, very slow. Um, I guess I will tell these ones to bring it to the customs house, which should be faster. And then we'll leave the train station up for now for the citizen waste, I guess. And we'll switch over the citizen waste as soon as our new waste storage has been built. We even have two rail lines that we can hook up here. I don't think we need this one though. We only need one rail line going here. Well, at some point it might be two. Both rail lines from the train diesel station could go through this. And then this one would just be a passing track. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, that's a lot of workers. Yes, we are producing a lot of waste. Uh, K 
Okay, let's get more dump trucks for now to make sure we don't run into capacity issues. I want to make sure that we produce as much iron as we can right now. Transport some more liquid material. I will not tell you to stop now. You can travel as long as I realize that we are basically running out of um, US dollars. Takes several months before returning to normal. Sure. We do have some coal in storage. Why is the middle car not being loaded? It's a little bit annoying that we have to use the technical offices for it. So time for food production. Food production will have to happen a little bit later. I want to upgrade this to an iron ore processing facility if I can save up the money for it. Right now the problem is transporting the waste away from it. might need one or two technical services, but the technical services are larger than the distribution offices, right? I guess this area this area just needs a direct transportation route from the mine instead. So we might just have to set up a road cargo station. What if I had the waste storage here? for the train. Could I get a train connection going all the way over here and going down this way and hooking up into our rail line? The road is a little bit close for that. Oh, actually it works. Cool. Maybe I didn't need to bulldoze the, do uh, the depot. Maybe, maybe we'll just have the... I don't think we can have that up here. It would mean that we flatten our pretty peak Kirakash. Oh, that's that's money. So much money. Okay, let's make profit right now. Pay back our loan if possible. Get to five hundred thousand. Uh, five hundred. Uh, get to five thousand workers. Nine hundred more right now and get the research going for where coal is. Oh yeah, that's that's good amount of workers there. That's exactly what we need. But our trains are keeping up right now because of the waste issues. Hopefully Why are we transporting the waste to the Western Customs House, I think, which is maybe not the best. Yeah, let's, let's transport that over here instead, both of the construction waste and the other one. The Western Customs House is already quite busy, and this should be a slightly longer travel distance, but I don't want to overwork this Customs House right now. Making our buildings more efficient by providing more workers to the existing infrastructure was the correct decision. Food and alcohol will have to happen next because the increased demand for our citizens is of course present. Are we able to keep up with things? Well, I guess you can carry more than what is in there right now. Feels like we should keep this fully stocked. 
Okay, 60, 0 0.66 tons. It doesn't want to overfill, it just brings when there's enough room. Everything is working as it should. Yeah, preparing the iron locally. No, wait. The problem with this, with preparing iron locally, will be that we need, will need more than one building, I think. If we are running at that productivity, we won't be able to do that. Oh man, I'm so tempted to set up the iron sta uh, the the uh, the waste storage platform right here. I think this has to happen because otherwise we need a lot of waste trucks, and that's just uh, excuse the pun, but wasted. All right. More bulldozers, please. Oh, we got the better one. 58 bulldozing speed instead of 36. Don't mind if I do. Excellent. About 20,000 per train load of iron. So the iron... Uh, the waste train from the iron mine will have to go through here and hook up on this side, I think. I'm not gonna flatten the way down this way. It just has to go around. Behind the buildings, underneath the power line, if it can. I assume that is possible. If we make the terrain appropriately elevated. Maybe with a bridge instead modifying the terrain too much. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, don't go onto the road, please. Don't, don't, don't. The hill is collapsing slightly onto the road. Ah, oh, this is going to take ages. Bulldozers are already present, though. Hmm. So basically, we have to get a factory connection going, which would mean a lot of removal of terrain here. Maybe I do have to build it over on this side. Yeah, I don't think we can change this to an iron ore processing facility. Let's see. We're making 250 tons of iron ore right now at half capacity. I mean the amount is basically uh, 630 tons at 100% productivity. Because the iron mine produces, I think, 4.5 tons per worker, oh, or 4 tons per worker, and we have 250 workers at 100% quality. And we have 63% quality, which means 1,000 divided... 63% um, per, uh, of 1,000 is 630. So we would have 630% iron ore to be processed. And we can only do 225 tons of iron ore per building, so I would need to fit three buildings up here. And they are quite large, so the iron ore processing will have to happen in a different area. Plus it will allow us to get more trains, and trains are cool. I guess the train line will have to go along this hill then, and come down here, into the new lane. Uh, I don't want to flatten this mountain. This is very slow. I don't know if raising it is going to be any faster, though. Because this is all all steep cliff, it goes really, really slowly, so it's unlikely. Uh, we could also have the train station over here and then a very short delivery route for the um, for two waste trucks, basically, which is another epidemic. Uh, which is probably more efficient. 
So relocate the technical office over to this side. Move all vehicles over. Copy the assignments. Get rid of this building. And we'll put the train station over here, I think. This isn't as much terraforming, so even if there's steep ground, harsh ground, hard ground underneath, we can still spend the time to terraform it. And then get the rail connection in on this end. And that should be doable. That will probably occupy two trucks full time. But that's a much shorter distance. And then the waste delivery from the town also doesn't have to go as far. Um, it will generate pollution in this area though. Extra pollution from the waste being stored inside a dump inside or instead of a container loading container station. So that is one of the downsides, I guess. This is not a drive-through station, it will... it's a ter terminus station, I guess it's called. So it will end here. can face over that way, which is shorter distance for the mine, which is important. The town will just have to drive around. And then two train tracks potentially heading out of this. I'm not sure what's gonna happen if I try and use the bulldozer in the area, but I want to find out. Oh, not much. That's good. Anyway, so the train line will have to go through this area, across this road. enough room to wait here. Get the other train line connected to this side. to make it look a little bit better. This is for picking up waste. So the trains will be waiting in here and then leaving. And there will only be a one train here basically. Maybe a second. But I think one train should be enough. I don't know if when the train is too long if it will run into issues so we will hook up both. A single lane here should be more than enough. And we have to come all the way down here and hook up into this road. And yeah, I will smoothen out the terrain a little bit. The hill of trash. What a beautiful view for both towns. Uh, I don't want to change it again. They will have to endure. It will happen. I'm going to change my mind. This is such a steep... Such a steep rail segment. find the way to get across 
on this road, basically. I guess I didn't need to demolish the depot then. But that means we have something else that we could build there in the future. Gotta relocate the bulldozers closer to this area to be able to um, smoothen out the terrain a little bit. Although I'm a little bit concerned that it will just basically destroy what we just set up every side in. But yeah, there's only going to be a single train track, train track going up the hill. This is definitely never going to need double tracks, mark my words. Yeah, they can start building that. Third time relocating the waste. It's fine. Seems like our technical services are keeping up for now, exporting directly to the customs house. But yeah, they are a little bit less fuel efficient than a train would be. So we are going to put a train up to that task in the future and spending money to set it up right now. Um, I'm fairly happy with the amount of income we're having right now. Seems pretty good. I should use some of that income to repay parts of our loans because we have taken out a considerable amount. So we'll repay some of it. And on the on the ruble side, it's also not looking bad, but the repayment is slightly higher than the profit we're making. Might have to refresh the loan or do a larger, a larger transportation of resources. I don't think a third train is necessary right now, but I might be wrong. Whenever the buses arrive here, and we get a we get a small influx of extra workers, it looks like we might have to get some unemployment. That might be because there is not enough buses picking up workers, and that is actually true. So we have some unemployment in this area for lack of uh, for lack of buses going up to the iron mine. 400 seconds, 5 buses, 5 buses would be 300 seconds. So we would need 2 more buses to make sure we have enough. And I guess I don't really want any unemployment, so I'll have to get some buses. One bus for now. Can't afford a second one. Hellas, Old Town, Workers. Uh, which one is it? Hellas, Workers, Corazna Mine. Yeah, that one. And then this one is just logging. With the occasional workers going to the iron mine, but it's mostly um, logging. That one got me confused a little bit. And we're not building any train tracks, it feels like. Are all construction trains not, now not able to come out here anymore or something? We're not getting any workers because I did not unassign the road depot from the route. 
please, construction workers, come to the rail construction office. We have tasks for you. Nah, the trash won't be visible. It's fine. It's covered by the mountain before that. And on this side, it's on the other end. It's hidden behind the beautiful um, iron ore storage. So they won't have to see the trash, I don't think. Okay, this looks... this should be okay. Maybe. Let's make sure there's not two large bumps inside the track. Acceptable. few bumps here and there but that's fine I don't think we're gonna ride the train up to the waste storage unless people want to I think vehicle replacements might be happening did I have automatic vehicle replacement enabled no I guess that was just the bus and board that's fine then Um, let's assist with some aluminium transfer. Don't think I have that as a permanent route. Oh god, the amount of lines is getting excessive. Aluminium to the east, back to the road depot. Give us some rubles, please. Yes, the construction trains are going to get in the way now. And now this signal. Wait, why this one? Oh, because you went here and turned around and you were already on that block even though you were not allowed, supposed to be here. Well, there you go. Yeah, the train shouldn't have been allowed to leave, I guess. Because there was a train heading for the area, or working in the area, and the other route was blocked. Yeah, we will not have any iron ore processing here, that's for sure. At least not in this current form. Maybe we're going to bulldoze the whole town and put the iron ore processing in its place. the return trains. If something is on the track, they will have to wait on this side. No, wait. This should be a chain signal both ways. And up here we will need the mixed ones. If it allows me to place one.
Okay, rail construction office. This is in search range for you, so go ahead. And if you're not, I guess you already have three construction tasks over there. I will assign this manually. And we have to, I guess, bulldoze this stuff up here too. This. Remove the waypoint all the way to here and this whole section and this one. We now have a waste storage again which can fill be filled up with anything and at some point we will have to get a truck here that always holds waste to the customs house. No, no other thing is going to be dropped in here. The only problem that we will have is um, bulldozing already existing rail tracks will also generate gravel. So we'll have to delete some gravel. Or I need a truck loading gravel here. But then it will just load the gravel inside the storage. Yeah, the gravel. And I guess also the materials will be a problem. But since we have three rail construction vehicles, I think it'll be fine. Because we can do construction while we're bulldozing. It's just the metal scrap and the construction waste is what we need the external storage for, I guess. You're finally full of waste. Yeah, that is not going to work in the future. I hope we get past the signal soon and then it will be a non-issue for the time being. Railway work is costing us money because of throughput issues. At least the waste train doesn't take as long anymore. Faster rail construction vehicles are kind of nice. We could get a faster one, I guess. Phase these ones out if we want to. But they are costly, and I don't have the money for them. And you're gonna get in the way of the other rail construction vehicle again. And maybe. Yes, you will. You will drive here and then back to the signal. We're just going to teleport you home. And then the other construction train can leave and build this area as soon as all the other trains have decided to move through. At least those that want to. Something is blocking. I don't know what. I guess I will have to babysit the rail construction for now. 
traffic jam. Oh no, 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 no. Why? Yes. Where is the? Oh, the. It's a very small fuel truck. Uh, you will have to go and stick with this border connection too, please. Um, the fuel is also immediately urgent. So that was a mistake. So just do your short delivery route. Right now it doesn't impact anything urgent yet except for our oil exports. But it will at some point affect food. And that's when it's going to become dangerous. I'm thinking of removing the signal. Construction trains ready to build. And that one snuck into a line that was already occupied somehow. The double track will be good. We can also leave this as a double track setup and fix it later, basically two lanes that are going different paths. So we can rework that at another time. How are you allowed to leave right now, excuse me? There's a train on the track. I know technically it's going a different way than you, but oh my god, you're so nosy. Oh yeah, happy now. Get our waste storage set up. Potential electric consumption up here is 2.2 megawatts. Uh, this is not a red wire, so we don't have that much capacity in the area. Supposedly the loading station for waste can draw a lot of electricity, 1.3 meg megawatts. We will have to see if that is actually the case. Oh, where's the fuel? I'm getting a little bit concerned. There it is. Why are you not unloading? Didn't have enough room. Great. All right, short route, fuel. Let's go. That's our fuel truck, uh, our food truck. The food truck was waiting for f uh, fuel, so we came here just in time. Can't make these mistakes if I want to keep people alive without distribution offices. So. We gotta keep short travel distances for fuel. The refueling of the train seems to be fine with the connected tank here. We're barely able to keep up with the fuel demand though. I guess we could do a simple single refuel to help with things. This waste wagon can go away. And I guess you can pick up some fuel and bring it here. And then go back to the depot. Absolute chaos.
Well, at least that track is done. Can go back home. Now we only have the track past the signal, which means we shouldn't have any traffic issues anymore. Hopefully. And then we will have a double lane track. Minus 11 degrees. Small heat exchanger has a, having a few issues. There is more fuel coming, get lost. Stop being so thirsty. Why are you picking the one that already has a vehicle in it? Fuel yourself. Thank you. We'll leave these vehicles in here except the alcohol one until the fuel has stabilized a bit. There were a lot of vehicles running out of fuel. I guess we should be fine. We only have these two trucks, the other ones seem to be refueled already. Okay, not everyone. I have to pay attention to the fuel consumption. Okay, they take a lot of. Oh my god. You're not going to refuel. Jesus Christ, are you demanding in regards to fuel? Loading fuel. Passing lane. Why are you not allowed to move in, suppose? Oh, there's a construction train in the way. Well, the construction train will have to move. Maybe the other signal wasn't so bad. Go back to chain signal here. And yeah, this this rail line can now be built by one train until the end. Unless there's a train trying to build from this side, but hopefully not. I don't think I need another train, I just need to make my line more efficient, have less waiting time. And have no shunting trains on the main line. <laughs> so slow. Oh well. We did move some aluminium over to the rubles. Giving us a decent amount of money. A little bit of unemployment is fine. Just have to make sure we use all the people that we can. During winter there will be more unemployment. The gravel road will not be cleared efficiently. Well, let's see if you unload your 140 tons of fuel correctly. Oh yeah, and our wood train is there too. Tree replanting seems to be a success, although the tree growth seems to be somewhat slow. But I guess they still have a lot of lumber to pick up, so it's fine. We're not running full on lumber, right? Nah. Boards is fine. One train is enough. Yeah, this is correct. This is the main line and this will be another one past this area. And here comes the sub fuel.
wait until unloaded. Well, I guess... Yeah, that's fine. We are still we still have trucks that go here to try and pick up fuel. Uh, we should have enough room, but just making sure. We're gonna refill first two. Okay. So the more trains I get, the more fuel I will need, which is kind of logic. Logical. Now this train is going to be in the way of the other train. It, no, it's not. It's going to wait at the signal and the other train can leave along the track because it wants to build some train line over here. Or it wants to demolish one of these. I guess the demolition is low priority. If it ever assigns itself to it, we can do that at some point. Right now we need to get the train line up to the iron mine waste storage. And once that one has been set up, I guess we will need at most two waste trucks hauling the mixed waste over into that storage. Heating problem in a flat. Down to 15 degrees Celsius. I guess the reduced um, throughput of the heat exchangers is showing its um, downside. I mean, it's 15 degrees in winter at minus 15 degrees. It's going down below 10. I might have to build another heat exchanger here and hook it up to the third pipe just to increase the capacity. We do have the option to have one more, so we will make use of it. I will have to temporarily take down this footpath to get it set up, I guess. Oh yeah, and we also need to remove the other heating pipe, which is going to give us a little bit of money. Because we're going to get steel out of it. Uh, hopefully this will be in range. side. be one construction task. I'm not going to split that up into multiples. We're going to wait until winter is over before we mess with the footpath, I guess. I will have to make an alternate footpath before I do anything, I think. Just to keep the area safe. Then we can tear up the other footpath, get a road connection through, and set up the other heat exchanger. It might be that there's not enough heating in here and then the local distribution doesn't provide enough heat to the other buildings. Okay. Looks like we're starting the construction over here now, which is great.
low happiness because of low temperature, I would assume, 10 degrees. Understandable. It's minus 12 degrees still, very cold January. Uh, these are all filled. Yeah. No distribution offices is going to be fiddly. We have to find a solution for all of that kind of stuff. I guess the solution will be to not tell vehicles to wait until unloaded, at least for most of them. Always leaving one slot open in the road cargo station so maintenance can be done. I mean, I could turn on the emergency heating, but... Right now, life expectancy is still over 70. Alright, alright. Send in some workers. Hopefully the other heat exchanger will deal with the issue. Uh, one here, one here, and here should hopefully cover everything. Expanding our housing, however, I think this will be the last one. Unless we get better heating in the area. We're losing too much heating from the far away heating plant, unfortunately. And I don't think it's worth it building another heat heating plant in this area. So this is going to be about the size what it is right now. that until, until next year. Thankfully we didn't tear down the um, temporary heating or the backup heating plant yet. I'm not gonna ref uh, recall it. I was about to say refuel. Which would have been also correct. But I'm not gonna move more coal into it. This is going to fix it. I'm sure of it. 99.5%. Or your money back. It's decent. Not complaining. We still have to move some money over in rubles every now and then to deal with that um, that loan repayment, but otherwise it's going well. We will only move the waste storage over into here once we know that the train line can run. I could fill it up right now. Most of this is construction waste. But there is still a chance that a lot of it could rot away and cause pollution issues. But it should be far away enough from everything. It should not cause problems, I believe. Happiness went down, loyalty stayed the same. Health is going up. We still have a global pandemic. Split train tracks look cool, should keep them, Tell, tells the history and gives character to the whole crossing. Hmm. 
But I did want to build residential... Well, I guess I'm not going to build residential buildings anymore. Yeah. I guess we can do that. And I will have to rework this a little bit. We will make it permanent and the train track will have to connect in here. But yes, we can do that. How's my loan going? We paid back 200,000 US dollars. We're down to 1.3 million, 1.36. Ruble loan at 1 million. We had to refresh it, but we're earning a lot of money now per month, thanks to the iron mine. That might change at some point. So we had to take out a lot of loan for assembling another iron train and getting more train cars for the waste train. I guess we should put the hill back then. How it was originally. Well, close to it at least. A little bit of a... no. I don't know if I can get a nice peak here in between the train tracks, but... This will look fine. Some history of the area. I guess we can. Hmm. I guess we can rework this if we ever decide to have a second bridge. But this might stay the way it is. Uh, we still have the potential that there will be a corner here going into a different rail line. That is a very likely thing to happen. But yeah, this side of the train tracks might stay the way it is. Who knows? We don't know where things are heading. Right now, iron ore exports are really good for us. And we might need a third train. Because we have a lot of workers. And it's only going to get even faster during summer. So maybe I should assemble a third train right now with the excess money that we have. But that would mean occupying one of the spaces that I said. I uh, One of the customs house spaces would be permanently occupied by iron trains. I think the third train will happen as soon as we have the other place built, the other line. When we have a longer double track. But we can have some trains waiting in front of the customs house. Could also consider getting... reducing the rail construction vehicles to one or two and having just faster ones in general. Are these trees not in range? They should be in range. I guess we'll have to wait to see where the circle here is. I'll get there eventually. Can't remove these trees anymore. Could cut these ones away, but I guess they do match the circle of the trees on across the border. So money recovered a little bit. We'll save up for a third train. Once the train line has been upgraded to two lanes up to the customs house. Which will take a while. I do really, really want to get another rail construction vehicle. This is too slow.
so this one was suggested. I wonder how much, how many resources it can carry. We also need the rail line to the scrapyard to get rid of our construction trains, unless I really want to sell them only. For now, they would move into the depot. I guess we're going to do some aluminium shuffling, get another rail construction vehicle and move the other rail construction vehicles into the depot for now. And see how fast the other one works. We could also just have a third rail construction vehicle, I guess, for the time being. We need 200,000 rubles, which we will have to do three transportation runs with our aluminium truck to make that happen. Could also just transport some nuclear fuel, I guess. But aluminium is easier to set up and I don't have to buy things manually. way more than our loan repayment right now, so things are looking very good. Even all the expenses that we still have in rubles is probably covered right now. But I wonder if the prices are going to drop again. Let's go through the prices of uh, things right now. Important things, coal for example. Coal is low. Crops. Crops is getting expensive. A farming area plus a food factory, or just at least a farming area with an attached rail line for export and then a food factory later is going to be a good idea. Just having a food factory might not be cutting it. I mean the crop price in US dollars is staying stable, maybe it's just the inflation, maybe I'm just reading this wrong. Maybe a food factory would be the better option. Board price is going down but staying stable where it is right now it looks like. Oil price is like, if, if the oil price ever goes below zero, we will stop exporting. If they charge us to export oil, we will not export anymore. Meat is coupled to crops, going slightly up. Liquid fertilizer is going up, it looks like. Iron ore price going up, really good. But that, that means steel is also going up. We haven't built an incinerator yet. We could make a lot of rubles from an incinerator, that's for sure. But I'm glad I didn't have to resort to an incinerator yet. It has been a while since I didn't build one. And we will have to build one, but I don't think I'll import hazardous waste for it. Incinerating our own hazardous waste will be a good enough benefit, I guess. Prefab panels, construction materials. Yep, water production also on the rise, also have to take care of that at some point. Water production is probably the next thing. Uh, we probably have our sewage network up, I assume. We did set that one up for Hellas, if we manage to click all of the pipes. This one has not been hooked up yet. Something is still missing, it looks like, and I do think I know what. Forgot to start this one. And then this sewage pipe needs to be built too. And all of this down here, I guess. I thought I started that. I might have used the wrong tool and paused it. So, most of it has been built, but not everything yet. We will have to finish it before the water network anyway, so might as well build it right now. Let's run the aluminium again. I guess I'm just gonna refresh the load and get the rail construction vehicle right now. 
Actually, if I just refresh the loan, it's not gonna be enough money. There. Rail construction vehicle. Plus 200,000. What does it look like? It's coming all the way from Molna. Oh, that doesn't that doesn't look too short. That has some material to it. Maybe half the capacity of the EDK, I think, but still, <clears throat> that's definitely an improvement, I think. That looks good. Also, doesn't drive too slowly. It's faster than our shunting train, I think. Much faster. 50 instead of 40. It's 25% faster. I guess I'll leave all the rare construction vehicles where they are right now. And they'll just have to organize themselves to who goes where. Half an EDK, but two-thirds the initial price. Okay. I wonder if it's easier to maintain. My guess is probably not. Like, easier as, easier as in cheaper. Seems like it should be easier to maintain, but who knows. Okay, no more aluminium transportation, we're just gonna take the loan. How it is right now, and repay our US-based loan instead. Another hundred, another 200,000 off of it, I think. Aluminium is being loaded right now. Okay, that's fine. How are we looking for price for iron? Seems to be about 20,000 still per train load. So not too, not too shabby. We've loaded all of the waste from the iron mine transfer. We're still getting domestic waste delivered here, so we can't tear it down yet. Have to wait for the train line to be built. But I think this is looking okay. 18.6k. Not bad at all. Price might be going down again soon. But at least we spent some money on buying back loans before we have to take it out again. Are you going, Corazna? Excellent. That's the line that is important, which will speed up everything in this area. I also need to save up probably 300,000 for the third train if we need it. We'll see once all of the lines are up. They're currently still slowing things down, but a full on tr um, mine is just too much right now. Yeah, that's okay. I'm not really concerned about the construction speed. I'm mostly concerned about how many material, how much material it carries to the construction site. So if it can build more than the default construction vehicles, then I'm happy. if we're going to run into any issues with the rail network other than the section over here where loading will be slowed down if multiple trains want to refuel at the same time. How many workers do we have? More than half. 50 unemployed workers. Happiness is going back up. 
Uh, we should be able to tear up the footpath now and get the other heat exchanger hooked up. Let's do that. It's still building. That's good. Very good. It does need a lot of extra workers, I guess. It needs as many as the EDK, it looks like. Oh, we're building from this side now, too? I don't know about that. Well, at least all the way up to the signal, but not further. Don't want you to build this way. You're blocking everything. And I mean everything. And because we have fewer workers, everything is super slow, you're gonna go into the depot. It's gonna be better just having one rail construction vehicle that works at its pace than multiple being spread out. You turned the extra heating off? Uh, well, not yet. I will do that momentarily. You're also gonna go into the depot. We're just going to have one rail construction vehicle. The extra heating will turn itself off once it runs out of coal, which it already has. So it won't work as an emergency heating anymore. And I guess we can just tear it down. I will leave it around for a bit. It's still at 31% wear and tear. But if there's an emergency, we will have to bring coal over. Which we have stored over here, so it's not going to be too difficult. Okay. Right. This thing is in the way. We'll tear up this. And we will remove the small waste container after. But the road connection will have to go into this junction point. And the waste storage will just have to go somewhere else. These ones are from the beginning when I said I wanted to use the small waste storages more. And I do work quite well. Out of electricity? Oh, we're out of US dollars. I guess we're importing something right now. This should be better for the general pace of the rail construction. It will slow down a little bit because we will only be doing one rail construction at a time, but it will leave our current rail system open for um, our normal trains. Um, do I still have the liquid fertilizer truck running? Yes, I do. Which is fine. Maybe it isn't. We'll send it back to the depot for now. What are you doing? Switch. Okay, yeah. Switch pipe construction takes materials. Of course. Uh, footpath has been removed. That means we can get the road in here. Let me try to set this up differently. So... Oh, cool. That's exactly what I want. Here... Wait, is this hooked up now? Is it? Can you shorten the road and still have it hook up? So, does this count as hooked up? What the hell? This is new. 
I basically want the foot pass through here, so I wanted to have a short section of road and then continue hooking it up, but... This is... weird. This is really weird. Um... That's probably a crash waiting to happen. Yeah, you might be right. Uh, probably need to report that though. I'm not sure if intentional or not. We'll move the footpath through this, but we'll make it a little bit sh um, longer. Give it a little bit of a longer gap so it doesn't look as silly with the corner. Hopefully. Fertilizer did give a lot of money to the ruble side, but we will have to focus on the US currency a bit more. I might have to save up for another train. Also, we're not bringing enough workers because the customs house is just that slow. Ugh, it's painful. Thank you, very cool. Blocking that po poor bus. Nice overtake there. Found a free spot. Parking right on the train line, of course. Yeah, I guess if we're having that many vehicles out and around here, then we're not gonna have enough workers in the construction office because the queue is just too long and the buses won't be able to get here and all the workers will disappear before they do yeah for repairs that's fine uh, you were supposed to go to the depot so you don't load anymore just go to the depot it's fine Maybe send some trucks to the eastern border, cheap things like sewage. Maybe, yeah. A small customs house for the important things. For our technical office. Until we have our own water production mm -hmm. and sewage unloading. And Hellas Town too, I guess. This customs house is that overworked. Until we have our own sewage system, they have to travel a little bit further. If I remember where the technical office was. wondering I was looking for a free one but I did build a proper one um, so any waste except for mixed and hazardous waste we're gonna send over here for now you might run into sewage issues if you don't clear the sewage tanks fast enough and with a customs house that slow that is a very likely thing to happen. You have one more hour and you're gonna get there in time, good. I mean, we're only picking up gravel, asphalt and concrete here. And coal, I guess. Coal for the Hellas heating plant. Well, that's important. don't have our storage here yet. And I don't feel like 
we made so much money and then now it's stopping. Why is it stopping? Definitely no more construction vehicles. We already have enough. One worker, three hours. Okay, things are slowly speeding up. Uh, fuel delivery for the train gas station should remain on the western border. In an emergency, we can send our train out. And there was still more than 200 tons in the tank, so we'll be fine. Alright, rail construction vehicle making good progress. We'll have this line set up soon. And then we will have a double lane going to the customs house, which will speed up the trains quite a bit. And we can see if we need a third train or not for the iron. I think it points towards yes. Hopefully we aren't going to be... Uh, hopefully the loading station won't be a choke point. Because right now it looks like it might be. I don't need to transport all of the iron ore away. I just need to make sure that my iron ore trains are running as efficiently as possible. So if we still have too much iron ore with three trains, then so be it. At least we know we have a full supply of iron ore. And it shouldn't change, be it winter, summer or any other season. amount of workers, good construction speed, but yeah we're slowed down a little bit, only doing one construction task at a time, but I think this will be more efficient. Income is back, good. I'm tempted to set up the water network as well, but it would just send out more construction vehicles right now. Gravel delivery is the issue and prefab panels won't take too long. Even if they send all the vehicles out, our 30 ton capacity vehicles will also be sent out and basically get it done within 3 deliveries at the most. I'm going to switch the source of workers to our bus platform over here for our construction offices. I think this will be the right choice. And that basically means we have more workers going to the clothing factory slash iron mine, but only from Korasna and only if we have extra workers available. So basically any worker from this bus platform, bus stop, will be sent to uh, the clothing factory now. Yep, yeah, that's what happens. Baraslav to Hellas Old Town food. We're okay. Still at 4,100 citizens. Unable to visit a place of spirituality. So I think the Ferris wheel will have to happen at some point to deal with that demand. They don't have a carousel yet. Alternatively, we could carry passengers in between Korazna and Hellas Old Town, 
making good use of our tunnel that we have. And then they can use the ferris wheels over here, which might be a better use of um, what we have right now. Let's get two mass 305 buses, because the tunnel does have good road speed, I would imagine. 100 kilometers an hour. And let's, um, let's send them back and forth. And then bus end station, none, just line spacing two buses. No workers transferred. Carry any passenger or student, however you feel like. Uh, no, don't carry students from Hellas Old Town. Just passengers, or maybe tourists. But you could theoretically pick up students from Krasna and unload them in Hellas as a transfer stop. Oh, that's fine. You shouldn't pick up any. Only passengers, pretty much. Prefab, panel, uh, prefab panels now. They're sending out the smallest trucks because of course they are. 17 tons here. Got our building. All resources are present with some road cranes. Allow workers to unload from the bus directly into the construction site too. If they want to. University is still working well. Building the second clinic was probably also a good idea. Should mean that we can let this town grow as large as the capacity currently allows it to. Still 860 workers away, oh, citizens away from the next research. But our higher education went up again, so things appear to be in place again. A little bit of unemployment, but that's okay. I guess sending all the waste trucks here also has a few issues, especially with the mine maybe increasing its production. I assume you're still building that track, right? Maybe? Well, it's high priority now, so next time you get over here you hopefully will. one track at a time. Don't build all of them at the same time. Finish this one and that will help a lot. Yeah, an inner city bus. Very nice. Hopefully. It should cre increase the amount of people going to the... Well, they are basically sharing all the facilities now. People trying to pray who want to go to a carousel might actually just achieve that right now. And since the carousels don't take that many workers, that demand can, can actually be met in Corazna without issue. I 
And here they go. Looks like they all wanted to go in here. Yeah, it's, and a lot of passengers going the other way too. And some students. For school? Oh yeah, school too, I guess. Uh, these houses don't have direct walking access to the school. So I guess we're gonna pick some of them up and bring them to the school in Hellas. Don't have any issues with that. saving up a little bit of money. I still have loans pending. Plus I want to probably buy the other train. It's gonna be the next big investment. As soon as the other rail line is up we can definitely run another one. Maybe even a fourth one. But we need the actual train line that we currently have set up to be in place. But I think if we have a fourth one things are gonna get tricky. Because by that point, either we occupy two of the unloading stations, or we have two iron trains waiting on this side and they have to wait for these ones to leave. Would put a lot of stress on the customs house. Especially with the slow unloading process. We could force the iron trains to only use one lane, but that would create other issues with throughput. Or we could generate, we could create two lines and then just use the leftmost lanes for the iron. Very good rail construction speed, thank you. Maybe we'll buy another one at some point. Or just go for the EDK and build all the way from an eastern border customs house to here. I was thinking this one. We'll have to cross one river. There's no large customs house on this side at all. I think that's the only one. So I guess there is a reason to start next to a large eastern customs house. Especially if you like trains. And the other option would be just carrying it in by ship. That could also work. Although I haven't tested yet how to unload a rare construction vehicle from a train. Uh, a rare construction vehicle from a container ship that would be carrying a train and the harbor might not have a rail connection. This is all the... is it all the vehicles from... No, I thought it was all the vehicles from maybe... Colata causing issues, but... It's not, it's just... It's still construction vehicles and basic supplies. Hopefully it'll clear up over time. Heating plant stop production. It is not too warm yet. I think we will also have to solve the coal issue here. Coal demand is increasing. And it's not currently fully... fully filled with coal. I might just have to get another third truck. Uh, we do have three unloading stations. And the demand is probably high enough where one of them will always be free. Except maybe during the hottest days of summer. So we will get another dump truck. I 
get that set up to the same line. Once it, well, it doesn't have to drive all the way over here, we can just set it up wherever it is right now. Hellas Coal Heating Plant is your target now. I hope you have this correct color for your crack cabin. And yes, you do. Almost got the line set up. And then we'll have to set up the signals. And hopefully don't have to alter any more of this area. Uh, we do have the option of having waiting platforms here. So we could basically make it so that the trains don't have to stay inside the customs house. They can go out and wait in this area here instead. So I guess this area might still find a use after all. And these waiting platforms could be in both directions, waiting for going across the bridge, waiting for going down into the customs house. So there is options here to make use of these. I wonder if we could make a shared waiting platform. So we have like f four lines here and you can enter them from either side and leave your direction again. I think this would work. So go up this way and then it would also have to go down this way. Hook them all up together and then do the same thing over here. I think this could work. Shared waiting lanes might be a thing. Basically a small rail yard up in that area. Probably only one more construction task. I don't actually know how much you can build. Seems like it should be a decent amount. And then yeah, you can build straight through. Hopefully finish this in one go, but you might need another construction task, we'll see. Any, any would be fine. Seems like you will finish it. Not cool. Not cool at all. Don't interrupt my rail construction. Alright, you can leave through this if you want. Just, just go home, thank you for your job. Alright, so this is set up. We have another switch here, uh, another signal here. And this train already knows what's up. Finally, have a chain signal here. And we can start removing these little dots before we start placing uh, signals. This looks weird, but it's actually correct. Now we have a lot of extra space on these tracks. This is basically one extra train per segment that can wait here. This should increase throughput immensely. Could eventually combine that with the Unibus into one line. Uh, iron ore price going up. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. Once we have the bus stop here and there's more than that, more to that than the uni, then we can combine it. And then also make use of the bus and station at that point.
Oh, this is so much faster. And, there, and at some point I'm going to be annoyed by how slow the bridge is and might still have to get another lineup, but for now this is much faster. But yeah, we need another train. Need another train. Especially with the iron ore price going up. Hopefully we have enough room in the depot. If we don't, then I might have to sell one of the rail construction vehicles. 24,000 rubles is not that bad though, thankfully. Wait and see if the two trains can handle it now. No, they can't. Production was quite low and we still have way too much iron stored up. If the iron mine is outputting full capacity, then we don't have we don't have the throughput on the rail line yet. We basically need always one train loading and right now with two trains we don't have that. Well, three trains probably. So I'm going to pull the trigger a little bit early on some extra trains. Probably need more money. Definitely need more money. the shunting train for picking those train cars up. I just hope we have enough room in here. See how fast it is? This is very very fast. And even if the train were to arrive right now, we would outproduce it. And it's still unloading. Definitely need a third one. Maybe even a fourth one. I think I will have to set up a waiting platform here. Because the waiting platform would allow me to set it up in a way where the iron trains could be lined up next to each other and they can wait here until they know they can go back into the loading platform and the other trains could drive past them. That would be something to keep the, the speed of the network going. Yeah, even while it's loading it's almost producing fast enough to keep up with, <laughs> with the loading speed of one train. It's crazy. And sometimes the trains have to refuel too. There's our new train getting its train cars set up. And the construction train might be moving over to the waste storage, although. Yeah, it will still be a good idea to have that, especially when the the mine operates at full capacity. I don't know if a cableway station can keep up with the demand of the iron mine. It might, but I'm not sure. more. Yeah, 
As soon as a bus arrives with a bunch of workers, the production speed is skyrocketing. I'm gonna have a lot of trains running iron ore. Now the construction train also doesn't have that many that much problem anymore getting out of this area. Everything basically sped up as soon as we had a double lane track for a decent amount of distance. Because every section basically adds another train to the network that you can have. As long as you have enough room in the loading stations, but for this one we will either have to get another lane, which is only going to be iron train, iron ore trains. So in parallel, or we just have to make the gen generic waiting platform. But I think I will just have a parallel track and route the iron ore trains through that lane. So they will only use that one instead of the main route. And they will use that one as a waiting platform instead. I guess we're gonna start adding our train cars. This is not the color scheme. Yellow, blue, black. I guess we're gonna move that here and that will be fine. Iron ore export. Let's go. The loading takes only 0.4 megawatts in total with the building... Oh, that's the wrong building. This building. 0.5 for one train. We have a blue wire here. Blue wire does not sound good. Oh, blue wire is one megawatt. That should be fine. And they are set to wait until fully loaded anyway. Now we're making a dent again in our iron ore storage. At slightly more than half production of the iron mine. We're getting 34,000 US dollars right now for each export. I believe it was the right decision to get another iron ore train, for now. What's happening with the iron price? Why is the price going up with increased exports? Oh, we just had a price spike, I guess. Didn't have a, ne a message about it yet, but... Looks like there was a price spike happening right now. Yeah, it's going back down. So we caught that one. Very nice. I think we're going to be able to keep up now with three trains, mostly. A fourth one might be a bit too much, especially since we can't bring a full complement of workers here consistently yet. Uh, I think we need more buses going to the iron mine. Because we do have unemployment up here. And it feels like our iron mine bus route is just not frequent enough yet. We have six buses and we are at 360 something, so another bus could be useful. How did loyalty evolve? Very good. It's up to 35 what it, where it should be. So adding the Soviet star monuments has helped. We haven't had any loyalty warnings in a while except for the, the Hall of Residence. And when people get a university education, their loyalty goes even higher. So in general, it's exactly where it should be. Not sure why this monument wasn't doing as much. It's 4.5% compared to the 5.2. It should have had an even... It should have an almost even a similar effect than the large monument, but... Yeah, right now we're doing very well even in this town. Almost no more complaints. It's going really well. So loyalty is looking really good. 
let me check the bus route again. I'm gonna add probably... I guess the unemployment is not from volume, just from uh, amount of vehicles. So I'm just gonna add another, another normal bus. Don't have any room to get a bus there. Let's add another bendy bus. Might as well. Hellas, Old Town, Worker, Mine. Let's go. Raw iron ore, no processing. The three processing facilities would have increased our um, our maintenance of those buildings. I think it'll be useful to have them, but we will probably build them close to the steel mill so we can match them to the steel mill demand rather than just processing every iron, raw iron or true iron. It will be a little bit inefficient in regard to how much money you get, but it will also make sure that if the iron ore price drops we don't lose out too much because we don't run it through all the steps before exporting. We just either export it cheap or export it for a good amount of money. And right now we're getting a really good amount of money for it. At some point the price might drop again. But then we can make use of the lowered steel price. Steel price is still holding strong, so I would assume that the iron price will always stay strong. And now we're keeping up with production, at least for now. As long as the amount of workers stays the same, three trains seems to be enough. And in the future we might have a fourth one. And hopefully two loading gates will always be enough. Having more than two we will only really be useful if we ever have a domestic demand. Because we only have three customs house gates, so adding more than four loading gates for exporting raw um, iron ore is not going to be useful at all. Looks like we're slowly building up the mountain here now too. And at that point we can switch over the waste. Which will help. And then our single train hopefully has very fast loading speed at this platform. Some artificial trees next to the evergreen trees to hide the fact that there's a waste storage up here. Okay, so we are bringing a few workers to the iron ore mine right now. Production speed is going to go up. How much are we using electricity-wise? 0.3 still. But yeah, loading speed is quite quick now. And an iron train is already waiting, which is excellent. That one will move in before the other one moves out, which is also good, because we don't have that much storage over here. Construction train also sneaking through. Let the other train through first. Never mind. Yeah, we're barely able to load fast enough. Like, you can have so many trains here. If we have some, at some point just have a full complement of workers here at all times, there could be so many trains running. But before we run the iron ore mine at full capacity, we would run another industry basically. But I'm pretty happy with like just exporting a raw material and earning that much money. Still 27,000 US dollars after the... Um, the price increases over. We got a uh, 500,000 US dollars. 
I don't remember why I wanted that much money. I think it was because of buying another train. But I think a fourth one right now would be overkill. But then again, we do have to build the other train line first before we get a fourth train. Otherwise it's not gonna work. We have to get the train line, the waiting platform for the the iron ore trains in place here. It would just be a parallel track reserved only for iron trains. I think right now we're gonna do fine with three. Or should I add another one? I mean, right now we're getting so much money for it. Let's just get a fourth train. Why waste money right now? Once we have it, we can't get rid of it easily though. Oh, 500k was exactly the amount that I needed. Excellent. I was just estimating. So yeah, trains are gonna pile up here a bit. We have to definitely make sure that trains that don't need to wait for the loading station to be free can just drive through past the other trains. And I think I'll just make a wait waiting line for the iron trains, because then they also queue up behind each other, rather than in parallel. where the iron trains move into but being assigned to the entry signal and hopefully the other trains will always pick the other line hopefully it's shorter I don't know how I could restrict the other I guess I can restrict every train to a line because no line no train is a distribution office so everything is going to be handled by what I want it to be like Start building that right away because we will have a fourth train here. Yeah, I can just have it enter over here, it doesn't matter. Chain signal and then wait for one of these two gates to be free, and then you can load. And the other one can wait for another line. should leave these double signals because otherwise the construction train is going to get stuck until we're done with construction work. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll... yeah, sure, leave it like that. I wouldn't be mad if you were starting to construct this rail line now, before the waste storage. Would be fine with that. Customs house, load any train, bring to the depot, go. And refill first, I guess. So train operations are starting to expand. Hopefully iron ore remains profitable, otherwise we're gonna have a lot of equipment on our hands. Um, I guess the the wagons we could export, but the trains themselves we can... I guess the trains we could also export, but only if we have a vehicle storage. 
I don't think we can export them from the depot directly. Maybe if we connect them all to as a train. Probably if we connect them all as a train. It should work. And the logging train is here too. The other option would have been making the train longer, but I don't know if that would have had a detrimental effect on the loading speed. And I'm pretty happy with the loading speed that we have right now, so I'm not going to change it. I will have to redo the signals, place them a little bit too close to each other. But it doesn't matter. If the train occupies two blocks, then that's fine too. Got a refuel. The chance that two trains are going to refuel at the same point is increasing the more trains we have, of course. More iron ore. Well, we're working on it. Four trains is going to be the limit, though, for now. Maybe when we have the waiting line for the iron trains, we can have a fifth or a sixth one. Um, at some point, we will be. At some point, we will have a train inside the loading platform at all times, and then we're basically capped. But right now, whenever there's a platform free and no train is moving in or out, there is still room. Just have to make sure that the train line, uh, the the rail itself is not blocked because of the iron. Because these trains will have to wait now until there's room. And right now there isn't. Which means this train will not be able to move through because both of them are already blocked. And this is what this new path will handle, allowing logging trains and other trains to still move through. Into the customs house it's not as important. Into the customs house the main thing is, do you have enough room to fit enough trains before the customs house? Um, like for example, right now I wouldn't be able to have like food exports or clothing exports by train and still be safe in the knowledge that we aren't blocking the customs house with iron. This might actually be the point where a container loading facility would be useful for domestic exports of clothing, electronics, other materials, food, alcohol. Because then you could come in, unload really really quickly and leave while the iron trains are doing their thing. fourth iron ore train getting set up. Maybe there is a certain amount that you need to invest before something becomes more profitable. It feels like the iron price went up as I was exporting more and more of it. Maybe the same is true for oil. Maybe my oil fields are just too efficient and small. Maybe I need to make a really large oil field and hope that the price goes up. And that train is choosing that path, which is fine. As long as there's a space for it, you can choose it. All right. Perfect. Iron ore export. Enjoy. And they should set themselves up to the point where hopefully um, they won't get in each other's way too much. Like if all four trains at the same time want to refuel, there could be a problem. But we still have the waiting lane for, line for that. So hopefully there won't be. And then we need the same thing for coal. Raw coal ore and then carry both, both of that to a steel mill area and turn it into steel although we need to dub double the amount of coal
This area has evolved to be quite busy, I would say. And then we still have the rail and construction over here for the waste storage. Still needs so much coal. Yep. If you want to produce it at full capacity, you need a lot of coal. Which makes sense. You need it for heating the material and you need it for the steel itself. I think. What are we building right now? Okay, still up towards the waste storage. I am, I have to say I'm very happy with how this went. I was concerned about money, but the amount of income we're getting just from the iron ore is kind of ridiculous. This feels strange. I'm not sure why the iron price is going up the more I'm exporting. Maybe it's not going up, maybe it's just... Well, I'm increasing the production of it, but the price of the trains, the train loads also seem to go up. I guess it's going down slightly. The volume will still help us make a profit, I believe. And in the meantime, we can use the profit to pay back loans, for sure. We spent last month 533k for a new train, and we only went into red for 200k. So we made a profit of 300k last month. This month is going to be ridiculous. The fire truck goes around that way, I guess. There's also a footpath here, you know. Thank you. So yeah, I guess we're not going to have to worry about setting up Old Town. The main concern is do we have enough work for them. Uh, right now the iron mine is going to run slowly towards its limit. So if we have two trains loading, we are keeping up with uh, production of a full iron mine. Excellent. This is what we will have, four iron ore trains for now. Maybe a fifth in the future, if we have even more workers in the iron mine is definitely full at all times. I am kind of wondering if I should get another fire truck just to make sure my investment is actually 100% productive. I wouldn't even mind just clap excellent profits, indeed, yeah. I wouldn't even mind just having another vehicle here. Just to make sure everything stays safe. Or just a very large vehicle. Let's not go overboard. Let's get another W50 fire truck. 20 more workers in the in the fire station. We'll do its job nicely. All right, now we have enough trains for now. One train should always be in here loading. As soon as as soon as both trains are stuck here loading, when another train arrives, then we have too many. There isn't a train heading here right now, but one of them is almost done. And right now the iron mine wasn't running at full capacity at all, so one of them will have to wait for a bit. And there's the fourth one. So slow production with not enough workers is still a little bit of a problem. But only for a short bit. Excellent. the logging area looking. There's a little bit of a rim of trees that I'm gonna get rid of. A 
I want this to look dispersed naturally, and then this one. So yeah, it should thin out, but there should always be trees available for harvest without me interfering with it at all. Okay, price went down significantly, we're back down to 13,000. But if the price goes up again, we're ready. And I guess we're also taking the steel price down with it. Hopefully. Back to 1,001. Back to 800 US dollars. Last years. We had a spike when the iron price went up. And we profited off of it. And now might be the time to import steel into a storage. Alright, I think that's going to be it for today. It's already been six hours and I'm going to take a break. This was fun. This was a lot of fun. We developed a lot towards making us money. We're 700 uh, workers off of getting the research to show where we can find coal. And then we need another research to maybe get a steel mill up. I wouldn't be opposed to getting a steel mill. I haven't built one in a while. And it looks quite cool. And with the map design, I'm pretty sure we will have to find an area with another town that might be in a difficult spot. But we'll see. So yeah, this was a very fun day. I'm going to run uh, radio over to Project 7. He's also streaming in German. I only see five German streamers. If you want to stick around for that, enjoy. Otherwise, I wish you a good Monday afternoon, Monday evening, wherever you are. Stay healthy, stay happy, and as always, maybe I'll see you next time.